All right, President, make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Oh, make it happen. Yeah. Shanty life, Raga Shanty life. Oh, time! Ready, me, 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 ready. I need to up and blend that time. I'm a one to the car and talk. Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. You want to get a beard with this here red rock? Check, 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 check. Yeah. This is a girl with a next set of story about the red rock. Check, 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 check. All right, press one more final time. One more time. One more time. All right. All right, let's go. Tambourine time. Tambourine time. Let's go. It's Friday. The car and talk of the king, 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 People that look at me and say you're agoneering because we are you, 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 we are. Yo, that word that mad, agoneering. Agoneering. Agoneering to the floor. Hey, 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 so you know how rich you feel in this, right? Diva Frisky Blessing, big up yourself. Diva Frisky Blessing, big up your good, good self. Watch your right here now. Here we go now. It's a girl. We and Marshall, well, Mr. Mitchell, and Tommy, Mrs. Mitchell, they're going to have a daughter. You hear about it, Prezi? Ultrasound said I'm going to have a daughter. People in the episode, those of you been following this, you know, say everybody did. I say, yo, they had four boys and wanted a girl. I think so. There was that, like anxiety for many of us. We're like, oh my God, I'm going to get the next boy or girl. And uh, nobody you know, like saying, you know, if a boy come, people that sad, you know, or whatever the case may be. But people are just happy for them to get a girl. And, but presently, people are talking about prayers answered. Like, I don't like when people do this, you know. <laughs> you yeah, know, right? I don't like when. Priors answer. Oh, so if it's a boy, it come the prize and would answer. But because that girl come, priors answer. People, when pe- people are going to have picnic, boy or girl, 
It's a 50% chance you're going to get either one if it's one child or forward. It's that simple. There are two options. And if you have one possibility or one option can come out of two, you have a 50% chance. Always. All right? So, I mean, I DC people, I want to say answer. Because I want to say that it sounds good. But what if it was a boy come? What that mean? Priors wouldn't answer? That, that the priors never answer? Anyway, what's well, so the congratulations again to them, you know? Look at that, her father, that daughter, she going, that little girl going to grow up with four big brothers. <laughs> nice. You understand? Yeah. And then for protect her and all these things, you know, the things set and things and stuff. We're talking about gender. Um, usually upon a Friday, we go hard with the Ray Ray something, you know. Yeah. Because on Fridays, Raga Shanti Live is simulcast into New York City on Iron Jam Radio. So people who are listening to Iron Jam Radio right now, big up on yourself under the ice. I be a ice to a thing right now. Down. Crazy ice to a thing. A mad ice to a thing. We don't even talk about snow. We talk about proper, proper ice. We talk about good up, good up ice. We talk about dirty ice to the thing. You understand? Crazy ice. And it's not that nice. You understand? But anyway, we have to give thanks here because if we have life and go through the elements, however adverse they may be, we still have to be thankful that, you know, we are safe and we are here and we are breathing and we are, you know, we are doing things, the man and these things, all right? But talking about gender, people, a lot has been happening in the United States and other Western countries and things. And now, and I mentioned this, um, you know, while I was on Tambourine Radio and things like that. But give it that time, um, this show on a Friday night goes out to New York City, as I mentioned just now, um, prior to what I'm doing. Well, just now, yeah? Um, I understand that some um, Caribbean people are having some difficulties with it. Some Jamaicans and Caribbean people are having some difficulties with changes that have occurred in the United States regarding gender. And I'm going to throw it out tonight because I want to get a sense from the callers. Particularly, I don't, well, I'm not sure if this is an issue in Jamaica. So big up to Jamaican listeners on the Bridge 99 FM right now. But I know a few of you, well, a few people have spoken to me. And you're having significant difficulty Dealing with this reality, particularly in the workplace where they're making some requirements of you. Where, where, as some of you say, you're being forced into something that... And to be honest with you, some of you sound like, you know, people may think you're in opposition, but I gather you're just confused. And again, let me just be explicit to, to what I'm referring to, because... Some of you listening, you don't have any problem with this, but um, but others are having difficulties, you know, negotiating the proverbial precipices involved here. Uh, and just by way of um, clarification, many of us, we grew up just knowing that when you say sex, it's male or female. When you say gender, it was still male or female. Right? So sex and gender were used interchangeably. Right? So if you have fill out something and it says sex, you knew you must put male or female. If you were filling out something and it's a gender, you knew you must put male or female. In truth, gender referred to roles. You know, what role you played, while sex is biology, male or female. But again, it was used interchangeably. Now, as we are aware, particularly in the United States and um, Western, some Western European countries, not so much in other nations outside of those regions, that has changed. Now, there are many genders out there. There are many sexes out there. 
It's not just male or female anymore. Some people just simply say that they are non-binary. The prefix bi means two. So we have all, you know, been told that it's just two. Man or woman. Woman or man. Two, two, two. Now that has changed. As I mentioned to some of you before, um, in 20, no, in 2019, late 2019, I was filling out a, a form for something. While filling out the form, I came down to gender. Now, I know about the whole thing with the transgender movement. I, I always knew about it. I always knew that, well, it's not two anymore. It's not male or female anymore. And I've always wondered, like, how, you know, how do hermaphrodites um, 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 classify themselves, you know? Hermaphrodites are people who are essentially born with both genitalia. They're born with genitals that men you know, have, and they're born with genitals that women have. But I've, all, I've long since, once I knew what a hermaphrodite, who an hermaphrodite was, I was like, um, so how do they classify themselves? Like, you know, male or female? What do they do, man or woman? So I've always wondered about that. But I was, I, you know, from when I was young, about, uh, you know, never really had a qualified um, voice you know, to explain what was going on there. Because, in truth, that community, they were silent because society silenced them. Now, communities such as that one and others, they're speaking up now. Not only they're speaking up, but they've, got, they've, they've been getting recognition in society. And there is also a very powerful um, legal movement that underpins um, their development. But that is causing a lot of um, confusion out there for people. It's causing, I'm going to tell you something right, I know where our next drama come about it, right? And people are having difficulty negotiating this thing. And Jamaicans and Caribbean people are no exception. In fact, for some Jamaicans and Caribbean people, it, it is something to them that is so distant that they are befuddled, confounded, and um, confused. Some of them feel very offended. Some people are very understanding once you explain what is going on there to them. Others are neutral. It's neither here nor there for them. But just to be clear, so I was filling out this form, and when it came down to gender, that I always see male or female, I saw about 14 genders for me to choose from, including male or female, you know. You know about this, right, Pretty? Pretty, you know about the transgender movement, right? What? What? Oh, you sent me something? Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? And people, I must admit to you that I was, I, I was shocked. I, I remember sitting there looking, because it was on, it, it, you had to feel it, I was on the computer. And I would, and, 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 and I sat there looking, and I was like, 14 genders to choose from? And listen up, right under the 14, it said, if you do not see your gender right in your one. So that means uh, you yeah, then give 14 for choose one. But we are now at a time, according to that form, where this is a national federal thing when I fill out, you know. Federal, you know. Now I tell them my business, but what I want Federal thing may I fill out. And the federal government of the United States was um, offered with life, well, not the federal government, just the institution, which is federal, offered me 14 genders to choose from, right? 
right? That, that means there are 12 more different from man or woman. That means there are 12 other options there. Right? 12 other options where you're neither man or woman. You're something else. Non-binary. So those 12 other options are the non-binary options because the binary option that we are raised with is man and woman. There's only two. Again, the prefix by means two. So the 12 other options are the non-binary options. And people, I was shocked. So I started calling my friends and whatever this and that and thing like that. And, and a few of them laugh at me because I'm like, where have you been? No, I said, no, I know about the transgender movement, but 14? 14, up, uh, 12 other options, some man or woman, plus they left a space there to say, well, if your gender is not, you're right, it in. And so it is that I, I began giving it some thought and... You know, I started remembering some of the debates with them thing. You remember that, you know, that South African runner, right? What's she name? What's she name, Prezi? You know who me at, huh? The South African runner. She, um, whatever. But anyway, let me tell you something about going right yes or no. Let me give you one other example way forward. So, if you go up on the CNN website, you will see a story that is titled as follows. 16 UPenn swimmers ask school not to challenge transgender policy that could block teammate Leah Thomas from competing. 16 UPenn swimmers, the University of Pennsylvania, right? That's an Ivy League school. That's an Ivy League school. Swimmers. They're asking their school not to challenge a transgender policy that could block their teammate, Leah Thomas, from competing. So what is going on here? I don't want to read everything to you, but um, let me just, let me go down here, sir. All right. So Leah Thomas. So the NCAA. What NCAA mean? National College Amateur Athletics. Something along those lines. But anything. The NCAA is the regulatory body for athletics in um, colleges and universities in the United States of America. All right? So the NCAA has been bombarded. NCAA is, is between the proverbial rock and the hard place. Because they have been bombarded with um, concerns from people who are saying transgender people are getting an unfair advantage over them. Particularly in the case where men become women. Well, let me be careful there because the transgender people would say, well, uh -uh, careful now, because the point is I was never a man before. But, well, some. And again, for those of you who don't know, There are people out there who are born with penises and so, and for different reasons, grounded in either biology or psychology, you know, they hold that they are not men, that they're women trapped in a man's body. And as such, technology has advanced to the point where they can now get surgery to change their gender, to change basically what they were born with, that they said that is not them, and they want to be comfortable with themselves. They want to be what they would say is their true self. Now, this is common, common, common thing, right? This, this has been going on. So I know I have some elderly listeners, and a lot of you don't, Believe it or not, you know, some of our older people are not aware of some of these things happening in a prison. If you tell some of our older people now that, listen, you can't buy a man, you know, and change into a woman and let for go do the surgery, them look like, well, what kind of fool is this, yacha? Anything can go, so, you understand, right? But I just want people to know that has been quite normal. The problem is in athletics is that, well, some people would say the problem is. 
that um, you have um, people who are born with the, the, the physical structure of what is traditionally referred to as a man in terms of the musculature and the, and the muscle and the body and things like that. It would look like what some people would say, that is a man's body. But if you have a transgender who then changes, essentially changes their genitals and their upper appendage, as in their breast, um, and say, I'm now a woman. But they still have the physical structure of a man. And then, when they engage in athletics now, competing with the woman, they are winning all the races, they man to do everything. So the woman, no, this has been going on for years, you know. I'm just updating some of you. Some of you know about it already. So the, it's been an ongoing issue. Where athletics are regulated. Where the women keep complaining that, where women keep complaining that, no, 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 this is unfair. What is going on here? This person has everything that you could say. They're a man, and that's why, you know, in, in general, women don't compete with men. We know that, right? In athletics, women don't compete with men. You have women's events, or you have men's events, for the most part, right? But what do you do when somebody was, according to these people, born a man, but then go to surgery if it's a, and get, take away them penis and get a, a, a vajayjay? And then do so and so forget her breath. But still have the, what people would say is the strength and, and, and so forth and the physical capacities of a, a very developed athletic man to the point where that person now, when them going at a female event, them just a beat all of the women. They win all of the women. Them. What do you do in a position like that? So the women have been complaining that no, when you bring over transgender people, they start winning all of the real. Them say it's unfair. The transgender people on the other side say stop discriminating against us. We have a right to be who we know we are inside, but because of some, you know, um, I don't know what you'd call it, a genetic slant or something like that, I was born in the wrong body. Respect me. So if I was a man, I know I'm a woman. Respect me as a man now. Right? And then the counter response to that from the woman now is that, um, and people in general, parents too, they're like, listen, I respect you. Right? Some people disagree with it flat out, right? Because in terms of it's a big part of the culture wars right now. Right? People are saying, no, and... When they know the people are more religious and God-based now, they must say, yo, blah, 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 blah. So there's all kind of conflict going on out there. But what has happened is that a lot of the people said, okay, fine, I respect your transgender transformation, right? I respect that. I'm not against you doing it. I'm just saying you shouldn't be able to come over here and compete and say you're now a woman, but you have a male body, and it's obvious you just start winning all of the race, them over here and whatever. So the NCAA, the regulatory body for athletics in um, universities and college, they have been caught in, you know, in, in between. So they have been trying to come up with um, some solutions, you know, some solutions that um, would accommodate both sides of the debate, the conflict, the culture war. And let me read to you something that's going on now with the University of Pennsylvania, right? 16 UPenn swimmers asked school not to challenge transgender policy that could block teammate Leah Thomas from competing. A letter written on behalf of 16 members of the University of Pennsylvania swim team was sent to the university and the Ivy League on Thursday asking that they not pursue legal action to challenge the NCAA's new transgender athlete participation policies. 
The letter was written by Nancy Hogshead Makar, CEO of Champion Women and an Olympic champion in swimming on behalf of 16 members of the swim team. The NCAA's new policies could potentially block swimmer Leah Thomas from competing in March's NCAA championships. Thomas, Leah Thomas, a transgender woman who swims for the Quakers women's swim team, won the women's 100 and 200 yard freestyle at Harvard University last month. And listen, this in a present. And set record times on the women's team this season. She had previously competed in the men's swimming team at the University of Pennsylvania and underwent two years of hormone therapy. In the letter obtained by CNN, the swim team members say they feel that she holds an unfair advantage over competition. And they continue. We fully support Leah Thomas in her decision to affirm her gender identity and to transition from a man to a woman. Leah has every right to live her life authentically, the letter says. However, we also recognize that when it comes to sports competition, that the biology of sex is a separate issue from someone's gender identity. Biologically, Leah holds an unfair advantage over competition in the women's category. Listen to that part in a prison. As evidenced by her rankings that have bounced from 462 as a man to number one as a woman. So what they are saying here, you know, this is obvious that there's an advantage here. If a man change them gender to woman and then you compete now with woman who, you, know, you have to be careful how you say them something because like you get that trouble in another place then. So there's obvious, is this evidence disputable, Prezi? Is it this obvious? When the person was competing as a man, they were ranked 462. They get the surgery, <coughs> change into a woman, number one, broke all of the record. Them. This person clearly has an advantage. Now the question is, is this an anomaly? Is this an exception to people who do transgender um, um, thing? But even so, is this singular instance one that we should not look at and say this is an aberration because generally it is? Is this singular instance fear? This is a question that the NCAA is not grappling with. Because what has happened is that the NCAA came up with some rules. Right? And... You know, if you are transgender, there are some there are some benchmarks, some thresholds, some standards that you have to fulfill first if you can compete as a woman if you were a man before. So, some people at the University of Pennsylvania, you know, people that talk about it and I get upset about it. So, people from the University of Pennsylvania swim team, the first thing them sent in, or some people sent in, was that, no, we support Leah Thomas. <clears throat> And we in a business if she want, we she want, we not whatever. So, yeah, my company. So some people are sent in their thing, you know, and say that. So the university now was contemplating, uh, well, let me read the part about the NCAA so that you don't understand. The new NCAA policy states that transgender athletes will now have, listen to this, mandatory testosterone testing starting with the 22 23 academic year at the beginning of their season and again six months later according to rules approved this week by the ncaa board of governors additionally they will need to be tested four weeks before championship selections 
The NCAA previously required that transgender women have testosterone suppression treatment for a year before competing on a woman's team. Penn Athletics said it will work with the NCAA regarding Thomas's participation in the 2022 Swimming and Diving Championships in March. The Ivy League said it does not publicly respond to letters submitted. Da, 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 da. Um, CNN contacted the school for comment, but did not immediately hear back uh, before this story was published. The letter comes after multiple members of the UPenn swim and diving team voiced their support you know, for Thomas earlier this week. So, all right, so people, this is how I go on. So this thing with this person, you know, changed from a man to a woman. But when the person was a man, them did rank 400 and must be 52. When them changed to a woman, they were number one and I beat everybody. And remember, you know, there is an economic base to this, you know, because when the person win all them records and all them something there, them get for gold Olympics, them, there's all kinds of benefits to this thing, right? So people, it start ball out about it. And I say, yo, it's wrong, wrong, wrong. So when people start ball out about it, some people from the team express their support for Leah Thomas. So the first thing they come out, you know, what some people say, we want to express our full support for Leah in her transition, the athlete said via ESPN. We value her, we value her as a person, teammate, and friend. The sentiments put forward by an anonymous member of her team <clears throat> are not representative of the feelings, values, and opinions of the entire Penn team composed of 39 women with diverse backgrounds. So at first, you know, so, so somebody come out and uh, the, a part of the group, the swim team, come out and say, no, we support her. So another part come out and say, no, we don't have no problem with she, with her being a woman now, and that she was a man before. We just uh, say it unfair to other people. What about the other people? Basically now, them split down the middle. So the University of Pennsylvania team, essentially, there is an impasse there between um, parties from both sides. Where one side is saying, we affirm Leah Thomas's gender transition. We affirm her and we respect her and we love her as a teammate, as a friend, as a person. Right? She was a man. Now she's a woman. Argument done. We just affirm her. The other side, I say, no, we affirm her too, you know. She was a man and she's a woman now. We don't have a problem. We just I say, what is going on here? What about the other people? Them, who is this fear? You know, the other side, I'm just I say, hold on. You are tell we said the evidence is not conclusive that Leah have a clear advantage over everybody, basic right as a right and all of the other women them who are competing. Get. You think it's accident that Leah wasn't even an average swimmer as a man. It was just a swimmer, rank 452, and then Leah come by us and, and she's a woman now and thing, number one and a broke all records and all them things. You, you want we just ignore that and say, oh, that's it just by accident? It's a causal kind of problem out there. Not to mention the bathroom thing, them now. When the man them change to a woman and them go use the woman bathroom, them don't re most of the problem is when time the man them change to woman. You know. I don't know about the woman. You, Prezi, the, the gender, the woman them change to man too. Transgender woman change to man. Um, when them change, them, them get a penis. I can understand when you change from a man to a woman and you take away the penis. But when you change from a woman to a man, where you get the penis from? Or, or, or you just work without a penis? So, so that is the context. Now, what is happening now is that there are some cross-cultural difficulties for some Jamaicans and other Caribbean people that have been made a privy to, <coughs> particularly in workplaces. Right? 
I, I had a look up issue one time at a certain institution whose name will remain unmentioned. Because I was in a Zoom meeting. And a person contacted me privately, you know, and said, where are your pronouns? For those of you who don't know, one of the things that is fast becoming standard out there, and pretty much standard in some places now, is that when, and I wouldn't be surprised if it becomes the law soon in some, well, I don't know, but anyway, is that when you put up your name, because from COVID, there's a lot of um, Zoom meetings and stuff. <clears throat> and the requirement is that once you put up your name, you need to put your pronouns. Now, pronouns have gotten so important now. So if your name John Brown, you must put he, him, his beside your name to tell people how they must relate to you. And some people put non-binary. So when you talk about them people, you talk to them people, the non-binary people, you cannot refer to them as him or her. And they will get um, a little bit touchy about it if you do. But the idea that's going on here for a lot of people out there now is that you must put he, him, or his, or her, she, or what? Oh, we have to take a break, Prezi. Yeah, we have to take a break. And... The person paged me. So I said, no, nah, man. No, nah, man. With all due respect, I'm a man. And he said, no, nobody's supposed to assume that. You're supposed to communicate it. So I said to him, no, but I'm quite fine. Even if, you know. No. And somehow, it kind of, the implication was made that I am being insensitive and discriminatory by not telling people my pronouns. So what this verse is saying, you need to declare your gender. And if you don't declare your gender, me I discriminate. So I just, I just calmly, I calmly told him I respectfully disagree. And think. But I'm just saying these are some of the things that the challenges people facing out there. Caribbean people, I know, you know, Jamaicans, I know, you know, somehow, you know, Oh, now, if we're going to learn how to traverse this thing, because you know, we're losing the job and all these things. Oh, now, if we're educating yourself about this thing, uh, if anything, at the minimum, you must know how to manage your interactions with your co workers, your colleagues, and your counterparts uh, out there. So, we are going to get in a discussion about this. And if any of you have had any, um, you know, interesting. Um, shall we say, experiences out there regarding this matter. When we come back from the break, I want you to call in and share with us that thing and let us see if the situation is that, you know, you know significant or complicated. Let us see if, at a minimum, we can um, generate some efficient and effective um, strategies for coping with this as best we can. We're going to take a little break right now. We're soon forward. From Flat Bridge to the George Washington Bridge, from the top of the Empire State Building to the Blue Mountain Peak, from the Grill Point to Morant Point, to Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens, Manhattan, New York City, it's Irie J. Jam. Rag Raga Shanty Live. Raga Shanty Live. Raga Shanty Live. All right, people, we're back and um, we're tackling the transgender issue. Well, um, um, how are the advances and the changes in um, the transgender population? What way is it impacting you out there, right? particularly our Jamaican and Caribbean um, people who, you know, you are the constituents who listen to my show and so forth. As I said before, um, I've been privy to some of our nationals or some people who are originate from the Caribbean we're having some difficulties dealing with this matter in their places of employment, especially. But um, we have a Tam Farm, and I see she posted it in there. She had called um, some time before when I was on um, Tambourine Radio, and she too had said that she had to leave her church. Why? She said there was a man there who she knew for years and years. All the women there knew as a man. 
And she say, you know, him just come out and say, you know, he's transgender and he's a woman now and him now want to use the, 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 the female bathroom. And um, for a lot of women in the church, I remember now we're talking about the church now, you know, because the, the church is um, the primary institution with whom, you know, the transgender com community are somewhat combined because for obvious reasons, you know, the church is, um, you know, the church is very, um, you know, shall we say fairly strict and rigid um, in its understanding of um, gender. You know, as far as the church is concerned, it's going to go with what the Bible says. You know, that God made Adam and Eve, man and woman, and that's it for the church. So, um, churches and institutions of faith, others, are having some difficulties um, coping with um, these changes that they think are being imposed on them. While members of the transgender community are essentially saying, listen, we have been suffering in silence all this time. And we're speaking out now, and we want to be heard. Not only we want to be heard, but we want our, our political benefits. We want our economic benefits. And we certainly do want our sociocultural benefits. That's what the transgender community is essentially saying. And we are now engaged in an ongoing experiment and an ongoing... Um, ongoing negotiating on multiple levels you know towards some solution that remains elusive at present and we don't know where this is going but right now we are very much uh, mired in a combative phase you know with regards to this matter and while it is impacting a lot of people here in the United States Britain and other places As a subgroup, some Jamaican, well, a few Jamaicans I have spoken to, well, that, that have spoken to me. They, they, they don't know how to deal with this thing. Understandably, you know, because, you know, we were raised in Jamaica. It's like, you know, Jamaica, out of many one people, is indeed the case in Jamaica. <coughs> Whichever, um... All the major religions, religious groups, you can find them in Jamaica. Jamaica has a Muslim population. Jamaica has a very strong Catholic population, a Protestant population, and a very strong Jewish population, etc. With um, many other <coughs> religious groups that are essentially satellite groups from those groups. We have revivalism and so forth. We even have Rastafari, which is not a religion. Rastafari is a way of life, but Rastafari itself has a religious component to it that is centered in Afrocentrism. But uh, most Jamaicans presently, we were raised in, 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 in that traditional paradigm. And uh, some of us, we it's no problem to us. We're just like, okay, you know. Whatever makes you feel good and happy with yourself, that's fine. So some of us, we have no problem with it. Others, um, other Jamaicans and Caribbean nationals are vehemently opposed to it. Others, it don't bother them, but they get offended when they're told that they must change their behavior to accommodate the, the, the changes um, that the transgender, transgender um, um, people um, or asking for. And, and that is where, um, you know, some Jamaicans are having problems. When they're told that um, you must do so-and-so, you need to do so-and-so now, and then so-and-so, you know. So for um, some Jamaicans, is, um, you know, I don't have a problem with it, you know, but don't tell me if it, that me have to do so-and-so now and all them things, whatever. What if me want to see it this a certain way? If me want to see it the way me grew up with it and born with it. How, how, how has that imp impacted you that you're now at a time in your life where medicine and, 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 and surgery and so forth, a man can turn into a woman and a woman can turn into 
a man because since the break I've seen some posts online and gotten a couple of texts with people saying yes there are surges also where women change to men and regarding um, my question like so when a woman changed to man, like, how, how she get the male genital? I'm informed that um, apparently there is some process there to, how do I say this for Farid, you know, to, um, to elongate. What do women have where we, where we refer to, like the man in the boat? With some Jamaican men, even in code, they refuse to call the man in the boat. They must say, yo, are the woman in the boat? Because, Ray, Ray. <laughs> First if I hear that, yeah. you know what they call the man in the boat for a woman, right? That sees something, right? So, you know, the same Jamaican man say, yo, I'm not calling the man in the boat. You know, where's when me I swipe? And <laughs> yo, we can't bother. But anyway, so what I'm informed is that, um, Apparently, there is some procedure there to elongate, um, you know, the, the, the clitoral part of um, the woman's um, genitals. To elongate it, to have it, um, I guess, approximate the properties of a penile organ. Um, so, I want to hear what you think about this, or if you if if have gone through any experiences with it, or what you think about it and all these things. All right, give me a call. Again, if you're calling from the United States or Canada, the number is 888 888-546-8742, 888-546-8742, 888-546-8742. Five four six eight seven four two. If you're calling from Jamaica, the number is 866-676-4996-876-676-4996-876-676-4996-676-4996. Let me hear one office about this thing here. Right? Want to hear one office about this thing. Give me a call. While I wait for seeing when the call come in for this, and I'm aware it's a ticklish topic and thing and whatever. Uh, not only ticklish, um, you'd be surprised how many people are just not even aware of what's going on with the transgender community, you know? But while we do that and we wait on them, let me see what this, um, right, this, uh, Um, all right, so what email coming here? Mr. Combs, what email are coming about, you know? Let me see if it's something I can read. Uh, uh, okay, all right. I can't put the name of the person who sent this in for obvious reason. But Mr. Coombs, your email is coming to you, Raga. Don't call me name. The next time Mr. Coombs call you, ask him if he did promise one not so right woman, not so right, sound like our head touch, not so right woman from one community named Charlottenburg near Belfield, Belfield, one goat for sat out. Let me read that again. The next time Mr. Coombs call you, Raga, don't call me. Now. The next time Mr. Coombs call you, ask him, ask him if he did promise one, one not so right woman from one community named Charlottenburg near Belfield, one goat for sat out. The woman said, You see, one man named Coombs. Tell her, say, she will run the sat out, you see. And that him will give her one goat. The woman says, sat out, go on. Nine months later, she get one baby with pretty ear. 
And I'll know she can't see the goat. Eh? All the time I go, oh, people, we have to breathe. We, <laughs> we have to go breathe for three minutes and then we will come back, we deal with this. People, this tricky, you know. Remember, say Mr. Coombs come from around the Belfield area for true. Remember, say Mr. Coombs have goat and them something they for true and them something they deal with. So this person here say, somebody named Coombs had promised her one goat for dash out. And she dash out and all. No, she can't see the goat and nine months. Lord Jesus. Mr. Coombs! I want to go on here, sir! I want to go on here, sir, Mr. Coombs! We have to take a break. Have a Lord of mercy, Mr. Combs, where the goat there, where the goat for the Jew Kings. Lord, we're so far. Ra Raga Shanti Live. Ra Raga Shanti Live. Raga Shanti Live. All right. Um, Lord Jesus, we have one Lisa. Uh, uh. Agenda, yeah, but um, the Mr. Coombs. I remember right, finish with him. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to finish with the Mr. Coombs. I wait there. I wait there. I'm going to finish with the Mr. Coombs. Together, we'll go back to the Jedi thing and then Uno Kalin, but whatever, Uno Kalin, but um, we did that. Yeah, all right, bring in the car, bring in the car, bring in the car. Where did I put it? Bring in the car. Bring... Hello? Hello. Hello, greetings. Hello. Yes, greetings. Where are you, you mean? Mr. Coombs. Yeah, man, yeah, but that's better. I, I miss you, but you just call me and tell me, no, my mind is far, man. Oh. I just showed you that you need from Ruby in Miller about the baby. Yeah, no, let me call, no, let me talk to you about it. No, man, that's something different, man. Let me tell you what. Somebody yeah. sent an email. Listen. Yeah, Somebody yeah, 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 man. Yeah, yeah man. Somebody sent an email and said, Raga, the next time Mr. Coombs call, ask him if he did promise one not so right woman from one community named Charlottenburg near Belfield, one goat for sat out. The woman said, one man named Coombs, tell yeah. her, say, if she did run the sat out, he will give her one goat. The woman said the Sato did go on and nine months later she get to a baby with pretty ear. And you know that Indian ear and Chinese ear they call pretty ear. Yeah, and man, I know she can't see the goat. So them want to know if I you. What I know? I know me. And uh, the place in Shell had me work with you. That's how they live. But look, they can go um, cross. What call it? Um, they can go cross um, Linster. When you go to Canada, you go to the left and say, oh, yes, I place near share and work with you, but I know me. All right, hear me now. Mr. Just Coombs, go... you never promised nobody goat. You never promised somebody goat for start out yet. Well, I'll call to. I'll call your promise. <laughs> 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 Mr. They Coombs, wait. well, uh, you promised them goat and cow for get start out now. They, they wait. Me tell you, say, you know, me make money and make profit. I make give money, I me I go do profit for everything. Me make some some good profit sometime, you know. Okay, and you tell them say you will give them sometime when you look at woman. You tell them say you will give them like a goat or sometimes say you will give them like a cow. Oh, I cow care for me. I give me big cow. One small one, one if I one young bull. One look a young bull and one look a young if you will give them. Yeah, no, you him. tell them that forget sat out, no. Like one fifteen pound, one fifteen pound to twelve pounds. So. Okay. They put big big cow care, you know. Oh, so when I say, so back in the day, so some woman will give you a sat out when you promise them, go to and call down. Oh, you mean? You don't find that. <laughs> okay. So, Mr. Coombs, you don't yeah. feel so because you didn't do it so enough, probably one of them, you know, the kind of, and you don't even remember because sometimes we don't remember everybody, even though your memory good, you know, you probably don't remember, you know, you don't feel so you could have do it. No, me, me no. So, uh, me, I me try to be a member. Me, me, me have idea, you know, but me no really proper someone you no know, come and go. But yep. what I know, after me leave the business, you know, me and my brother and you run all. Yeah. The same one, the same one way after me get you. Yeah. All right, listen me now. Him drink gum and food. Him go and play to play. Him drink gum and when he have money, him drink out all the money. Yeah. So my some other brother, you know, will follow me. We follow the, the second one follow me. He used to do a business now when he come in, you know, in Thailand and thing, and he give me go them. Yeah. 
and in tell well guys they want twenty pounds for them. Just just word speaking, you know? No, no, but but Mr. Coombe, just to just stay up on point and thing. All right, all right, so yeah. you are said basically your brother them whose names were also Coombs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and, and them are Indian too, right? Yes. Okay, then I probably I saw could have your big brother though. The one who me follow you with wheat. The one where you follow him with do it or something there are them thing them going with though. Yes, yes, Lord Lord Jesus. What I know, what I know. Hey. The woman who me a baby with over the me, me get one boy around you know, on top of the Okay, yeah. Uh-huh. So him go him go around you know, and tell the people them saw him a baby with with your switch also. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. one guy named Carly, I mean dead, you know, I must say me can do this with him Carly. Yeah. In brother and son with you, so me and Carly are friends. Yeah. So one day drink him up and the man then go for beat him and Carly said, no, Carly back them up. And so I come with brother this and why is he not if he can come here? Okay. But I want to tell you if I am a baby with son and him. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see what I go on this. Let me see what I go on. You see, so no, you want me to give me a big nose and I'm, and I'm a baby up or so and so. Okay, uh, okay, but I never him. So I could have did your big brother then, and I must see you. Him. Well, me agree with you, man. The woman not tell you a lie. Okay, when you say the woman not tell you a lie, you feel say it up, my dog. Me feel say my brother do it. If I listen now, one man went... One man come and Louis to the telephone part and say, No, what could you trick sell good? And him drunk all the while. Yeah. Anytime he get the money, let me drink out the money, you know. He may not, you know. Okay. I will have I'm a brother with your daughter, you have to bury me, you know. Okay, okay. Me see where you ask, me see where you ask, me see. Raga, me don't know, me don't know what he said, but no care what man can drink, Raga. You can drink out some rum, rum with both your heart drink. Yeah, that's that true, that's that true, that's that true. You have to be careful with the rum. You have to be careful. No care what you can drink. And me see that man and no money, me no know. Boy, me no know, but God take him. I must see and a big brother, man. Go make, the, I, go I, make I, the woman dash out for the goat, and she never get the goat, and then he go in a breeder. What a thing, he must do it. He had them something that go on with. And the, make the woman go do, do, dash out the goat, so I thought, and not even look at me. <laughs> <laughs> she no get. You have, you have, you have Schillartenburg and you have Königsberg. Schillartenburg, yeah, and that, the, the person said the place name. Sh- you know what I mean? I know them place there, Jamaica. I don't even know what's the place there, Jamaica. Hold on, hold on, Mr. Coombs. I don't even know what's the place there, Jamaica, near Schillartenburg. I think to write it. All right, this is me now. You, you know the big bridge when you're in Westmoreland, you're in Georgia, right? No, Mr. Combs, we not remember so we don't want to spend too much oh, time. Right, Just right, a yeah, describe yeah, place, yeah, you know, yeah, the people yeah, yeah, them, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, them, yeah, them, yeah. them will cost thank me. You, you thank know? you, thank you, thank yeah, you, thank yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you have Shelladenburg and you have Cottesburg, but um yeah. it was one one state and it divided the road divided, the left road. Okay. At the road. Okay, okay. But but look at that the poor woman dash out or something. I'm going to take a goat walking and not even up. <laughs> <laughs> she don't ever get up. <laughs> she in, in, don't ever get the goat or the boy or anything or whatever. I, not even look I, a I curry goat. Go. Not even look a curry goat she get. Poor thing. <laughs> poor brother. Yeah. Poor lady. Let's go. All right, Mr. Coombs, big up yourself here. Yeah? Thank you. I'm, I'm Miss Ruby. We help me now. All right, Miss Ruby. Okay. All right, then. Blessings here. Yeah? yeah, man. Blessings. Come All right, down. then. Cool, cool, cool. All right, give me the next call, President. Mr. Coombs, I'm going to read the woman for goat and not give the woman a goat. Lord have mercy. Hello? Am I on? Yes, you're on. All right, and um, Greetings, Ragashanti. Greetings. Am I, to, am I understand? Let me get, just want to make it certain. Yeah. You are actually, you have a PhD? Yes. In anthropology? Correct. So you're a social scientist? Correct. All right, just want to clear here. Because mm. I'm not interested in this kind of the, the, the Coombs focus focus, but more the one that you raised earlier about, um, which is gender and race and so on. And right, so forth, right, you know? right, right. And gender and sexuality. Gender and sexuality, yeah. Sexuality. Yeah. Right. But since I was listening to him about the, the Berg then, that would suggest to you and I and others that it has something to be Germanic because, you know, that the Berg, Bloomberg and Johannesburg, you know, anytime you hear anything about Berg, you think of Germany, you think of Scandinavian country, right? 
Oh, you mean the, the, the location? Okay, right, 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 right. right. The location, right? right? So therefore, how do how that reach Jamaica? So it's clear that some Germanic element were there. Just, just I'm going get back to the gender situation, but just to educate our people yeah. that after World War Two, after World War Two, uh-huh. and the British has taken all of these these Nazis, these Nazis, Nazis, right? Nazis, 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 and. Uh, listen, I'm not German. Right. I'm not. I'm not German. So I'm not pronouncing. I'm not pronouncing. Okay, not, that's I'm fine. German, that's fine. Know? That's fine. I'm not German. I'm going. Go, I'm going to anglicize it. You know. See, okay, see, that's fine. A them brain. A them. A them brain. Watch me the English type them. them okay. Cousins. Okay. So, uh, so after after the, when the war was over, rather than turn them over to the Nuremberg trial, right, which mm-hmm. they should have gone, these Germans said to them British cousins, listen. Nobody has sent me back in the car because the, the, the people are, are German. They'll, they'll kill the hell out of me. Mm-hmm. But we just stay at Jamaica. And they, they, they stay there, you know? Other, other of these people, they were sent to Argentina and Uruguay and etc., etc., etc. et, cetera, et, cetera, et cetera. I'm just educate our people here. So. But back to the... the, the no, no, no. Now. But just before you... you pro- just, just before you, um, you continue... Uh, okay. Um, Plus, proceed. Yes. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> perhaps some more... Um, um, in terms of what is documented, perhaps some more um, yes. accurate um, description of um, the genesis of those names w- would lie in the following. Uh, there's a lot of Jews who were fleeing persecution all over the world, and um, some of these Jews were Germanic. And as you know, what happened in, 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 in Germany with Hitler and the Jews and we, the Holocaust. We, we, and we, so. we, 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 we make sure not to say European Jews, but to, to, be, to be distinct. Uh, yeah, oh, no, I don't want to get in that. Far. No, no, I'm not getting in that argument. It's a, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop right there. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. It sounds to me you're familiar with how volatile that debate is over there. I do want to get involved in it. So what yeah? the point is? All right, okay, so, fine, so, okay, so, so, so what the point is, if it's volatile, I know volatile. What's the point is? Um, black, black people listen, no, listen to me now, listen to me now, listen to me now, listen to me now. All right, yeah. okay. All I want to say but, to but, you, but you hold on, listen, but, you're not listening, you know, you're not listening, you're not listening, you're not listening. Just listen, I'll listen to you, just listen to me for a sec. All I want to say is that um, a lot of Jews, I, I, I had a girlfriend, frankly, it was my ex-wife. Her grandmother's last name was Eichmann from St. Elizabeth, right? And there are a lot of um, um, St. Elizabeth people, as you're well aware, who have um, characteristics from people we generally call Caucasian. And um, they're descended um, from, um, you know, various, um, well, you don't know people are descended from um, um, Britain, what is called Britain, specifically England and some, some Irish and um, Scottish, Welsh type of connections. But um, other people are descended from, well, white people who are considered, um, you know, fleeing persecution and stopped in Jamaica and so forth and things like that on, on um, the, um, the eastern, the, the western side of the island and things like that. And, um, and, and they brought with them their culture and their naming conventions and um, some of those um, from those people, you know, you know, ended up in um, the nomenclature of um, different vicinities, different venues in Jamaica. So I just wanted to add that element in it. So go on, so to the other point you were making. Now, what was that? And I, and, I, and I just want and I just want to add that I spoke with one, with one of them, right? Right. So not only did I read it and study it, I spoke with one of them. Yeah. And, and one day I said to her, I said, I don't understand how you um you know. You, 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 your shape is black woman, you know, you, you have everything to black when you talk to Patra and so, but why you, 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 your skin and your eyes and so, and she said, you know, I appreciate that you ask a lot of people to come. She said, and she told me about these Germanic war criminals. They are war criminals. Uh, let me use your term, Nazis, right? These Nazis who had done all the atrocities uh-huh. and then they, they, they said to the British, please don't send us back to Germany because we are dead. And, they re- and she said, her father was one of them and mated with an African woman, okay? Well, that's, that's true, a, you know. The Nazis that's were that's running that. all over and, and fleeing all over and hiding all Well, that, that part is true. That part is true. And, um, and, I, and, and if such right. is the case, I want to thank you for making us aware of that because I wasn't aware that we had a, a contingent of such people in Jamaica. And yeah, I because, mean, and we, we subject to verification, British, like subject to verification, I want yep, to thank you for, for sharing that with us, yeah. 
Just like all the British took its criminal them, its criminal from from his, from, from, from the British Isles and took them to Australia and dumped them in Australia, right? Right. They, they right. like to. They were criminals that these people that they took to Australia and now them outbreed everybody else and them run Australia, you know. Right. Um, right, right. You know, everybody wants wants somewhere to dump for them people, you know. All the dump dump their people who they don't want them, who they consider they're okay. inferior. And why I ask you that? Because this thing about like Charles Darwin, which you, since you're familiar with anthropologist, about natural selection, right? That some people are superior and some people are inferior. And therefore, we need to get rid of those people inferior, according to him. And the survival of the um, and so on and so forth. And, no, no, hold on. I, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just so you know. Um, I don't know what Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, sir, sir, sir. Sir, 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 sir. Um, can I just suggest you be careful there? Because while Darwin himself did have some um, problems there in terms of, um, you know, you know, you know, allegations of superiority of one group over the other, his scholarship on natural um, selection and how it was weaponized and used was mainly by others, not by Darwin himself. And the person who um, espoused the doctrine of um, the fittest of the fittest, even though it's commonly attributed um, to Charles Darwin, it was really coined by the scholarship of one Herbert Spencer. You can check that out here. So, um, you I'm, know, I'm not so you know. that out. I'm already familiar with him, so I don't have to go check Are, are you familiar, familiar with Herbert him. Spencer? Are you familiar with Herbert Spencer? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Are you familiar with Herbert Spencer? I call, I call, I call in about the gender thing, uh, and I think you're going to spend time with me, go off on the tangent, and eventually you're going to tell me some time is up. And I really call you about the, the gender, and now I'm gone into other No, no, yeah. but it's oh, you, you sir. Really hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, it's you were the one who went over there and you, listen. Li no, 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 listen. Right. No, sir, 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 about sir. About just listen for a second. No. You were the one, you were the one who went over there. Two, one of my role here is that of moderator, right? And you are making some statements and you're making them in a very definitive way. With, with, you're, you're, you're making them with confidence and, uh, and uh, authority. And all I'm just saying for the, per for the benefit of my listeners that um, some things could be understood differently and there are some expanded um, understanding of some of the things that, that you have said. That's all I'm doing, you know, fulfilling my role here as host. Yeah, right, but anyway, but to the, the, the other the point you were making, to the point that you were making. So, so those are the semantics. Yeah. Because I want to get back to, to, to that. Uh -huh. uh, one of the reasons why I ask you, Ragashanti, uh -huh. right, one reason, right, is the first time calling you said that, that things I would like to do. One thing I call you as an anthropologist, as a social scientist mean that you are the best at the race, you know. You know that you are the best of our people who who got scholarship, you know, that you could reach to this. That idea is, I categorically and disagree with you with that. But go on, say what you want. No, listen, listen, people can listen. You know, if you disagree, I am saying to you, based on where we're coming from as a people, having you know been kidnapped from Africa, and you know we have been go through all of it, and our enslaving period, and we come out of it. You are one of them who are catapulted right to the top. At the, at the pyramid, as a social scientist, and, I, I, and, and I'm disappointed. I'm telling you, I'm disappointed with the type of argument that you're having with your people, because instead of you using this training as an anthropologist and apply your anthropological teaching and training and practice to solving our problems as a people, you know, you know, in, in the United States, Jamaica, wherever you are, Ragashanti, you helping keeping down the, our people to a certain level. With the, with the, Trivia that, that, that topics that you have. Like Mr. Coombs a while ago about South Out Woman and Wednesday. Ragashanti, you're supposed to help lift our people. You reach up there now. You have a responsibility to use this social platform to help lift and elevate our people. This type of argument to, 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 to get us off this marriage that we have, like in Jamaica, where we are. Look at the situation in Jamaica. Look at the situation in USA, wherever we are, the people. Ragashanti should have a theory. Of are we going to come out of this, you know, all that we into the part of arena or, or the sewer pit that we into? Instead, Ragashanti, you're using this type of, the, the, the time that you have on the platform and your training and your talent. You have more people at a certain level, if you're keeping them at a certain level. And I'm kind of disappointed with, uh, with you for that, Ragashanti. That you should use the platform productively, progressively, and positively to uplift our people. What are your office about that, Ragashanti? I, I do not owe you an explanation, but you're entitled to your opinion. 
Right. Now, per, per, pertaining to, 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 to the... So, so you're not having a dialogue. I thought you was a dialogue when, that when people call in. You're just like the rest, of, the rest of people who call in. You have a conversation with them, uh, you know? Ah, no, 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 no. You're because... Always, no, 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 no. You, no, no, sir. Because... Your indictment of me right now, you even said that I am holding down the people. It is my choice whether or not I should respond to that in terms of your the limitations in your intelligence there. It's my choice whether or not I want to accommodate you down that path. I do not have to explain myself to anybody, but you're entitled to your opinion. So on to the next point now. So, 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 the, so the one pertaining, the pertaining to this, you know, and the, the, these other people who decide now for Redefine, redefine, but because basically they're challenging biology, right? Biology, the, ch the, ch the challenging biology. Biology of male and female. Anthropology in your field, when human evolution, male and female, homo sapiens, sapien. And even, and even below that, too, even below the, the primary stem, it's male and female right you go right down. And these are the elements of Ukuma want to redefine. Not only want to define, redefine the reality for themselves. But for the humankind, we, we, right? So our problem now as African people, as I say, we, have, we are, it's a, it's a fact of life. Wherever we are in Africa, outside of Africa, diaspora, we're catching hell, we are at the bottom. Um, we see what happened to Whoopi Goldberg this week, right? In black history month, African history month, an African woman, a black woman with a platform like yourself, because she spoke scientific truth, is removed because other people have redefined, not only have they re redefined the reality for themselves, they don't want to force it on, on other people to accept it. And if you don't go by it, right, this is what will happen to you. And the same way these other groups, these other groups, who now almost have the entire alphabet, they started at what, LGBT, they gone to Q, and, and then just taking over the whole alphabet, they took over the rainbow, it's like, wow. The, the um, uh, have, have, you, have, you, have, you, have you ever had any experiences with it that um, you, you, you could share with us? Like, have you ever had any... Meaning mean what? Me, what do you mean with... Ex Meaning like like what? anybody telling that well, you're, you, you're, you're obligated to call somebody a certain name or this whole thing about the new genders and so forth. Have you um have, have you ever had like an, uh, whether a positive or a not positive experience with somebody who is insisting on being called something you know that you're not that you are not accustomed to? No. I'm oh no, not, you've never I'm had not, any. Not, okay. But, 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 right. but, 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 Okay. No, okay. But, 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 but it's something that just creeping, it's crawling, you see it coming. Okay. You, 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 know, you know, sometimes they say when you see rain set up, if you carry umbrella, you know, you're, our people say, right, 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 right. You see, you see, you see, you see, you, you see the thing coming in. You, listen, once, once I was at a, a discussion in Manhattan, right, in a building in Manhattan, in a law office, there was a discussion, and there was an ambassador who had just given his presentation, and the thing was over. And they said to me, my brother, <laughs> you know where the changing room are? So we were looking for the changing room. How were the players looking for the changing room? And this is what they pointed out. So that, uh, that was the only thing. It was this all gender type of thing. Like, wow, I just a society reach now. Oh, they actually okay. show you. Male and female can go in there. Transgender can go in there. This can go in there. And I was kind of, I was uncomfortable. Oh, okay. uncomfortable yes, yes. Those know? are some of the things I, out I, there. I was like, really uncomfortable. Yeah, that people find right, challenging. Right. But before you go, I want to ask you a question before you go. Um, before you spoke to me, you inquired about my academic credentials first. And, and then you said, yes. you have a PhD? I said, yes. You have a PhD in anthropology? I said, yes, and whatever. And if I'm not mistaken, you essentially was, uh, you essentially was saying, okay, if I'm going to engage you in a certain in, in conversation and so forth, you know, I'm, I'm going to engage you on a certain level, and um, I just want to first make sure that um, you have the credentials that it's supposed that you have. It, 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 uh, am that, I that, correct? That, that's what that issue. That's what. That, no. Am I correct? No, no. you're not. No, you. No, no, so no, why did not. you ask? Why did why, uh, why did it matter to you to ask about those things before you come and speaking to me? Because I want to be certain. Because I think one evening, you know, uh, I think like we just surfing past anything, and I and I wanted to just be able to guys. I think I hear uh, somebody was engaged, you know, and I think I hear something about anthropology, you know, so, uh, but I didn't get exact. So like, let me confirm, let me validate or uh, refute, you know, with the, oh. the, the brothers. Before you go, I just want to share one thing with you, though, okay? <clears throat> just so you know. <clears throat> Some of the dumbest, 
stupidest, idiotic, and even, you know, racist to and all these things, sexist people I've ever met. But just even people who lack common sense. They have a lot of letters what behind them. They have a lot of letters what behind them. Mean? No, I just want you to know, I but, just, I'm telling you, some of yeah. the dumbest, stupidest people out there are the most credentialed. They have PhD behind them, name, JD behind them, name, and whatever. Just so you know that it's not a guarantee that if a person is academically qualified with the highest degree, a PhD, that they are naturally um, brilliant. Okay? The next thing is, the uh, uh, next thing like, is, I, I would like, like, hold on, one other thing, one other thing. I would like to invite you to um, at least at a minimum entertain the notion that while it is that each person, based on the history in their lives, it is their right to choose how they want to be happy in their life. To understand that being an academic, it's not a one-dimensional experience. That it's okay for an academic to be a comedian. It's okay for an academic to say, I want to do a career in dancing. It's okay for an academic to say, I don't want to do anything to go change. I want to go plant flowers. It's okay for each person to do, based on their experiences, to make choices and do what it is to fulfill the first obligation of any human being, which is to be happy. By, by the way, that is exactly the argument why the same people are using. You know that, right? They have the right to make choice. You, you know that, Rakashan. That's exactly the argument they make. So you people can whine and complain to, to no whine and complain. I was a man that you want to Pennsylvania that, that state. I was a man... And now me do my operation. I don't know how to wind the camera. I'm just going to go over there with the woman them and win up all the race. Precisely the point. So be careful of that, of that the, um, thing that you're riding on there about choice and being happy. Because many things that people do make, that make them happy, it makes people happy. He's now very happy in winning those medals. But it's making the women them very unhappy. So the issue is not if you're academic, but you, you have choice. You can plant flowers. So long as the flowers now cause somebody else that, so some So be unhappy. That is the issue, right, Ashanti? That, that, that's why I use the thing. That when we from the society, any society, but in particular the black society, when we find ourselves in a position, PhD or no PhD, whatever we do, should do to elevate the race. And I want to say I'm a Marcus Garvey person, right? A Marcus Garvey person. Is it whatever way we find ourselves, the carpenter, Ragashanti, the, the sanitation worker, wherever, whatever level, is to uplift the race generally. So you being happy and others are happy. But that your happiness not stop other people from, from, being, from being happy. There are certain elements in the society, certain ethnic groups, certain sexual orientation people, and races are no so long as they, they, they can call black people the N-word. They can disrespect us 24-7. But when we try now to, to, to do that, it's a problem. You see in the society, the thing about anti-Semitism, you see the Indian, the Asiatic people recently, right? The Chinese side people, more like them, they got it passed in the U.S. Congress in no time. Black people in this country from 1619... Uh, you know, 400 oh, years. Uh, they can't get one bill passed through, through the Congress. They can't get one bill judge fried policing act. Uh, they, they can't get none passed. Uh, in no time those people got their bill passed. Right? So, so, okay. I'm, so I'm saying, do, again, those of us, because we can't be this group. Right? Okay. Sir, 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 just, sir, just, so, just so you don't end up talking. Uh, uh, hold on, just so you don't end up talking, but most, could you, you know, just, 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 well, well, I get what you're saying, all right? I get what you're saying. All right? Okay. I hear you. All right, then. Blessings, man. All right? Bless up yourself. All right. My respects. Cool. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> God. Hey, Lord. Prezzy, prezzy, prezzy. <laughs> You see, you see why I just laugh. I just come here and laugh and enjoy myself. You know, I make people enjoy themselves. I who get it, get it. You know, because boy, if you follow some of them serious people, yeah, man. You know, there is no room for laughter. There's no room for just being goofy. You know, you know, Prezi. There's no room for just being just silly. It's just like get a good mix up and bust out a big laugh and whatever. You can't do that with them people, you know. 
No, it's not good for the kids. In Jamaica, it was the kids, and it's not uplifting people. And here's the interesting thing with this, I'm listening. There's multiple layers to, you know, you know their critiques. But one that is fundamental to, um, there's a fundamental flaw into these people who attack you, you know, with all these extreme things and, because you hear him throw a couple of insult to it. You say, me I keep doing <laughs> You hear him say, me, me I keep doing <laughs> By not doing what him think me need to do with what me, you know, what me get, you know, in terms of my qualification. Me I keep down the people, let me know. Brother, you know, see this, the, the, the sense when you're in it. Him now say, yeah, do something, you know. I keep down the people. He's saying, by not doing something, I am keeping down the people. Like, that's a flawed logic right there. But what I'm, but, but, uh, one of the things that I always find curious with them, they always know exactly what needs to be done when they criticize you and I tell you why you need. So why them don't go do it? Why them don't go do it? They don't, they don't, you know, if they know them go do it. Anyway, just for the record, again, and I don't have to explain myself to anybody who understand me, understand me, who understand what I do and thing and whatever. It is my right to run a comedy show, a joke show, a mix-up show if I want. And I also know how this benefits people. I also know that a great many people out there, they look on humor and fun as um, not being of any use or value in the upliftment of people. And ironically, if they in their brilliance, you know, chose to immerse themselves in the intellectual content on humor and its benefit to humanity, they would realize that they are categorically mistaken in their assumption about humor. But I would also submit that the people who define themselves in that way, where their way of uplifting people is to engage in these combative things where they're always identifying people who are not doing enough, and they function from a paradigm where they define themselves by defining others. Let me say that again. You have people out there, they function from a paradigm where they're always communicating to the world that I am because you are. So what they do is by identifying what you are, they're telling the world what they perceive themselves to be, right? That it doesn't, with these people, you know, most often, you know, it doesn't matter what you tell them or what you show them or whatever. They're just in that zone. They're just always in that combative adversarial zone. And, um, and their worldview is such that they feel it's a necessity that they stay there because there's a war going on. And they just see the world um, through those lenses and they believe that you should be there permanently. I would like to suggest to you people, you be careful of those people. Because you follow them, you walk around with all kinds of stress and problems on your head and whatever. I'm not saying you're supposed to ignore what is going on and know what's going on in society. In fact, I would implore you to do so. But I also encourage you to not be one-dimensional in your life. And to make sure that you pay attention to the different parts. And never you lose the ability to just laugh and be silly and joke around. It has a balancing benefit to people. People who laugh, people who engage in humor, <coughs> particularly if the humor is culturally relevant, they have better immune systems. They recuperate better from illnesses. They are psychologically more healthy. They're able to repel various forms of stress. 
They're less likely to be mired in being worrisome and whatever and this and that to just kind of just debilitate their bodies, etc. And this is scholarship, you know. They concentrate better. They can focus better. They have better sex lives. They're better, they're more secure in themselves, you know, in, in terms of when stuff come up. They can face people who joke a lot and whatever. They can face their deficiencies that everybody have. Nobody's perfect. And I could go on and on and on and on. So never let anybody tell you that you're only of value if you can just be serious all the time and forever be focused on saving the race. Yes, that is part of the equation. We are benefiting from many who have done so for us. Indeed. But never you make anybody convince you that that sort of one-dimensional focus is where you can maximize your value to the race or to this or to that or whatever. And those people who are like that, they're very often not as um, all-seeing and accomplished as they project themselves to be, you know? But lastly, before we take the break, never, ever feel that you're obligated to give them an explanation of you when they attack you. Never feel that. You may choose to do it for instructive purposes, like, you know, sometimes I do that if some of them come at me with a little bit more respect than he did. I think because um, he was a little bit um, self, like indirectly self-aggrandizing and so forth and things like that. And, and there are times, you know, I've, you know, for the purposes of the show, I will do things like that. But in general, never, never, ever feel you owe them an explanation. You don't. We take a break and we'll be right back. This is I reject. What? Over? Did you say over? Nothing is over till we decide it is. And it ain't over now. You gotta stay here forever. You got it? This is Zion Stewart, and you're listening to my dad, the awesome Raga Shanti, on Bridge 99 FM. Check, 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 check. Back in at thing. Back in at thing. Mr. Keel is here. <laughs> yo, I'm not a juggling, I think, yo. Uh, it's all good. Come on, people. The, the, this comes with the territory. You have to get them type of being there. You know, them something they're going to come and whatever. You know, that, that, um, anybody that listens to Ragashanti since whatever, you know. Eh? Yeah, you don't know, sir. That is nothing. That's nothing new there. A long time people have a, them frightened from a PhD and thing and whatever. And I relate to me like a them did get it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, before. Oh, damn, Prezi. This is a lot. It is a 50 year to the Prezi. 50 year gender. Before, give me the car. Give me the car. Let's soon read it. Give me the car. Hello? 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 Yeah? Hello, Raga? Yes, Mr. Coombs. How old? I believe I Psalms 109. Psalms 110 says, Sit down at thy right hand until I make thy enemy thy footstool. Psalms 110. Sit down, and the Lord said unto my Lord, sit down at thy right hand until my, make my enemy my foot to will. Ecclesiastic 3, there is a time for everything under the sun. Right. Good answer. Good, good, good. How do I do you? How do you for it? How do you something? How do you for it? Good question. Good reply. Big up. Big up, brother Shanti. Oh, oh, you mean good response to the man just now? That is what you're saying, no? Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Brother Shanti. Okay. Mr. King is short when him. Right, yes, yes, yes. And you say, and you say, where you whap him with now, Psalm 110, no? The Lord said unto my Lord, sit down at thy right hand until I make thy enemy thy footstool. Anywhere the army go, see a follow the army, man. Anywhere the army go, see a follow. See a turn for the army, man. Anywhere the army goes, see a turn for all. Okay, Mr. Coops, all right, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, 
Rezi, you ever hear Mr. Coombs calling two times one night? Never, right? Mr. Coombs don't do that something, they don't it. So when they hear Mr. Coombs call back and I take it to Mr. Man. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh, my God. So, apparently, um, ABC News had, um, um, you know, put out this thing and said, a list of 58 gender options for Facebook users. Oh my God. 58. People remember now, you know, the distinction between gender and sex that um, some people make. They're not making it here. Just want to just um, remind you of that. That they're, they're in some circles, they used to say, well, in academia, gender was about roles. Right? So, so gender was sociocultural, while sex was biology. It was biological. So sex is just male, female, but gender was basically what you do and how you should perform in your respective cultural setting. But things have they reach a point where they were being used interchangeably, where gender was referring to man, woman. And when you hear them talk about Transgender, gender roles, and all them something and now. They're really talking um, on um, you know on the level of what we used to say. Biology, which is male, female, that is the level them them, them really depend. on. Um, another important point here, well, again, which is a point of contention also, is that while it is a case that um, some transgender people. Um, you know, the basis for their, you know, you know, their claim for change is biological, as I use the example of Maphrodite. People were born with um, both genitals. Even more controversial are the people who choose a gender or created a gender purely on a psychological basis. So it's what they think they are. Right? So you have people who say, I am not a man, I am not a woman, which makes them immediately non-binary. Because, if, again, binary is a man or a woman. So if you're not a man or a woman, it means you're something else outside. But you have people who say these things because they think they are something else. And they just create um, these gender and they said that's who they are. Them just create something and say, I'm not a man, I'm not a woman, I'm so and so and so. And um, there's a huge debate with those people because, and, and, and this, is not, um, this is not a practice that is um, locked into um, gender only, you know. Particularly the psychological part. There are black people, there are white people out there who said, I am black because they think they are black. And they said they should have a right to consider themselves black. Um, a lot of programs out there that are designed for, um, you know, non-white groups. There are people out there who take advantage of them, you know. Because all they need to do is put on the form, say, them black. And even if them white, you know, from them thinks and them black, them black. So there are a lot of people who are deriving benefits quietly from um, initiatives aimed, you know, from, from initiatives aimed to um, implement some corrective measures in terms of past discrimination and so forth and things like that. So you yeah, have a big problem with those people. Uh, because, again, like I said, it's not just gender. Who remember the lawsuit where the man did file, the 60-year-old man, I think he did file one lawsuit, and like him, would have said, him want the court to determine, say, him a 40 or something like so, because him say, him not feel like a 60-year-old man, so him want the court to say, him is 40. You remember the lawsuit there where we did that, when we did bring up one thing. So you have all these things out there now, we have a climate now where, you can be any damn thing you want to be. And um, I think in the cases where, you know, in um, instances of um, the transgenders who 
you that they have a legitimate basis to say, listen, biologically, listen, this is what is going on with me. I do not fall neatly under man or woman like you guys do, and I need some help here. That you have some people that you do have people in those positions, but I think those people, you know, very often people don't take them serious because of the other. In my opinion, more in some cases frivolous and flippant, where somebody may wake up and say, I am this. Just some a mental thing, and them feel like them want to be something and and just say them as that thing, and they insist that you address them as that thing. You know, them them look up them them think them thing they can cause all kind of problem, you know. But anyway, so this article from ABC News is saying, and then for those of you who want to read it, it says, um, here is a list of 58 gender options for Facebook users. Again, it's an ABC News article by one Russell Goldman. Russell Goldman, again, it says, here is a list of 58 gender options for Facebook users. So listen to them, name and you know. These are people who are saying, don't call me man. Don't call me woman. Right? So these are some of the things, 58 instant different things that people want to be called. Now, again, just to be clear, the names you're going to hear are from people who do not want to be called either a man or a woman. A gender, androgy, Androgyne, <coughs> androgyne, androgynous, bigender, cis, cisgender, that is CIS, cis female, cis male, cis man, cis woman, cisgender female, cisgender male, cisgender man, cisgender woman, female to male. There's people who want to be called female to male. Uh, by the way, I don't know what the CIS mean here. The CIS. Some of you probably can look that up. Then you have um, FTM. That is female to male. So I guess you can them just call me FTM. Gender fluid. Now that is interesting. Because what that means, you know, and there are people out there like this, is that their gender is not permanent. So gender fluid means they can be different genders at different time. So you can't deal with somebody who said, you know, um, I am so and so now. And then two weeks later they can be something else or a year later they can be something else. Whatever they want to be. <coughs> gender non-conforming, gender questioning, gender variant, gender queer, intersex, male to female, MTF. Neither, neutral, non-binary, other, pangender, trans, trans female, trans, trans male, trans man, trans person, trans woman, trans feminine, transgender, transgender female, transgender male, trans. Those are you know. Etc. Um, self-explanatory, transmasculine, transsexual, transsexual female, transsexual male, transsexual man, transsexual person, transsexual woman, and the final one here. President, did you see the last one? Did you see the last one? Two spirit. Two spirit. People, there's a gender you call two spirit. Right? So, you know, somebody can insist on um, not being recognized as a man or a woman, but as um, one that is two-spirit. Interest. But I just want you to be aware that um, that, is, uh, the, that is what is happening out there now. <clears throat> so if you experience these things at, at your workplace... My suggestion is... And you don't have to agree with it. But my suggestion is at a minimum, one of the main reasons I bring it up, I don't want you to be caught off guard and be surprised. And then you end up just 
saying spontaneously what you know to be the case or dismissing somebody as being ridiculous. Like, what are you talking about? It's only man or woman exists. You know? You know, so at a minimum, I want you to be aware of what is going on out there. Right? Because sometimes we Caribbean people, and I know Jamaicans especially, we have a little difficulty in with functioning with difference, right? There's a well-known, well, not well-known, but you remember the mix-up with the man who just coming from Jamaica and um, got a job as a, <laughs> as a security guard at a department store. And a press, you never hear that one, yeah? He press it. Press it, you never hear that one. brother just coming from Jamaica, you know, so he get a job. He said, no, man, get something quick. And I'm give, give him get a job as a security at a department store. You understand? So he saw a bunch of gay men coming up dressing, you know, in draggish and thing or whatever. And thing. I remember security, my work at the people in the store, you know. And him say, about four or five gay men have come at the store for whatever. President, I know, I said, the man just goes, I want to go. I want to go. I want go away from me, I come in and go away from me, I say, man. Go away from me, I say, man. And I don't come in, I say, whatever. And lock out the people, lock out the gay people out of the store. We have had some debates on this um, because some people have said, but he have a right for stand up for him who I believe. My thing is, of course he have a right for stand up for who I believe in. I would support him and defend him for stand up for who I believe in. However, if you have a job as a security, right, at the people in store, it's not your store, you know, right? You work at the people in store. And the people them do have no problem with gay people that buy things at them store. With all due respect, I, I is it you leave the job. You just leave the job and, and thing, you know. If you can if you can if you cannot, if you're working security and you don't want to work security at a store where gay people go in to go shop, you leave, you can't you can't think say the whole world wrong or this and that and whatever because you know. The store not have a problem with gay people are going on them, them shop. And I'm telling all the while too, and with certain things, you know, that um, some people want to rate as being successful. You know, don't ever pre out them juggle them thing. But you know, turn around now, I want to emulate them people and whatever and thing and whatever. You, Bob Marley, Bob Marley not agree with certain things and whatever. Me know for a fact, when me used to leave school, I walk go up, up road one time and Bob them used to play football over them yard and whatever. Me sit down there and hear some conversations and, and things. I mean, know for a fact, so Bob know. But Bob, you know, so certain things are not Bob thing. But Bob never feel the need to get up and figure say who for go dead and kill them and all them something there, you understand? So I say, if you're going to big up a Bob Marley and whatever, then learn from how Bob Marley manage certain things where an of him thing, him no agree with it and thing, but boom, him love it out. You know, him no feel the need for go say who for go dead and who for go kill who and all them something. Same thing with Junior Gang and Sean Paul and them. I see people in an interview I try to trap them in anything. Them no make nobody carry them down the sun. They're living successful lives. I'm just saying, think about it. You can hold your own, but don't feel any need to go rush people out there and demand this and that and whatever. You know, you do your thing, you do your thing. Well, while our break is the top of the hour, our three-minute break is coming up. And, thing. and then um, we'll be back at um, 11.03 to um, complete the final hour of um, tonight's show. All right? Soon forward. Soon forward. Raga Shanti Live. Raga Shanti Live. Raga Shanti Live. 
Check, 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 check. Back in the thing down in our last so as usual on a Friday night, right? Yes, sir, Auntie. Once a big respect to all massive, big up to all crew, and big up to all crew. And big up to all who I support um, my mix up channel where you can get mix up entertainment, where you can go over there and laugh to the belly, bust and all these things. Yeah, I'm going to kick, 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 yeah. Big up the Raga Shanti TV channel, yeah, over YouTube. And thing, do remember to go over there and subscribe and click the bell too and thing forget the notifications them and thing now remember when it come to the ragashat tv channel if you are the super serious type who don't like this type of humor it is not for you do not go over there and go cuss because then that would be categorically unintelligent right if you know something is of a certain nature and you can follow it up and then spend your time over there cuss boating that would be nonsensical. So we are talking about mix-up entertainment. If you want to laugh or you want to hear some good mix-up, the channel is the Raga Shanti TV channel over YouTube. Get there. Click the subscribe button and click the bell for the notification. There's another channel. It's called Tam Fam TV. And it is educational entertainment. So it's educational, but it's still jiggy, ragashanti style, okay? So I want you to go to that channel too and click the subscribe button, right? And the notification bell. And thing. It's called Tam Fam TV. And it's about educational entertainment. So the stuff over there is more educational, right? You know, in the formal sense. And thing, but still, you know, with an energy and a vibe characteristic of my personality. All right. So I am inviting you to make sure, you know, that you subscribe to both those channels on YouTube, Ragashanti TV and Tam Fam TV. Again, Ragashanti TV and Tam Fam TV. Make sure you subscribe to those channels. I might suck with them and thing. And thing. I do remember I said tomorrow night, as is the case, every Saturday night at 8 o'clock, we have a thing named Free Up, the realest Jamaican talk show hosted by yours truly, Ragashanti, live, right, and in living color and thing, and that is on Tam Fam TV. So tomorrow night certainly will be there, 8 o'clock, Free Up tomorrow night, and we'll be having our usual fun and our usual laid-back atmosphere. And I invite you, if you have a, a relationship issue that you would like to share, confidentiality will be maintained. Your name will not be revealed. But if you have a relationship issue that you would like me to address tomorrow night on Free Up, I invite you to send it to my email, which is ragashanti at gmail.com. Ragashanti at gmail.com. And that Ragashanti is spelled with one G and it ends with an I. Again, it's spelled with one G and it ends with an I. So that's R-A-G-A-S-H-A-N as in Nancy, T as in Tom, I, at gmail.com. Again, it's R-A-G-A-S-H-A-N-T-I at gmail.com. R A G A S H A N T I at gmail.com. So you just explain whatever it is you want me to address there or whatever it is you want me to help you with there, particularly relationship issue, because that is what um, the ladies, you know, most of the people who listen to me, they're ladies, and ladies said, you know, they want um, more commentary and more information on matters related to relationships. So just send it to me at that email, and I will address it accordingly tomorrow during Free Up, the realest Jamaican talk show, Pan Ragashanti TV over YouTube. And also, if you have your mix-up, them any mix-up you want to send on, just send them a make we know what I go on and thing, and I will read them. Some of you don't like to call in. You like to... um. Sending a mix up. That's all good. I'll read them and I'll read them with flair and I'll read them with um, charismatic delivery. Oh, yeah. That is what I like to do. All right. So just send them to ragashanti at gmail.com and I'll address them. Okay. 
Um, within the last hour, oh, I was calling, but where you want calling for whether you know on the topics that um we have been dealing with thus far or anything else you want to uh, talk about and things. See the number from the United States or Canada toll free again the number toll free number from the United States or Canada that number is eight 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 five four six eight seven four two again eight 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 five four six eight seven four two. 888 888-546-8742. 888-546-8742. That's the number if you're calling toll-free from the United States or Canada. If you're calling from Jamaica, the number is 876-676-4996. 876-676-4996. Six seven six four nine nine six eight seven six six seven six four nine nine six eight seven six six seven six four nine nine six. Um, what drink I'll be making tomorrow? And um, I don't know. Give me that call first. Eh? Um, what drink I'll be making tomorrow and free up? I don't. Well, let me think about that. I haven't decided yet. Uh, more than likely, it's going to be a cocktail. Cocktails are fun. Good night. Hello. 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 Greetings. Hello. Hello. Greetings. Yeah. Hello. Yes, hello. Raga. Yeah. Hello. Yes, hello. hello. You hear me? I am hearing you loud and clear. Okay, I just want to tell you that I love your show and I enjoy listening to it every week, and God bless. Thank you so much for those kind words, all right? And for the caller before that was expressing, you know, he had a lot of time on the radio, but um, like you said, you know, you just have to put laughter in your life, and it's a, it plays a big part, so... Keep on doing what you're doing. Thank you so much, darling. I really do appreciate that. You know, very nice of you. Thank you. Okay? All right. Have a good night. Blessings, man. Good night. Next, Carl Prezi. Really nice of the lady right there to share some encouragement and a little blessing. Hello. Good night, caller. Hi. How are you? I am good. Doing great. My name is Diana. I'm Donovan's girlfriend. You're Diana and you're Donovan's girlfriend? Yes, and he wanted me to tell you hi. How are you? Um, Donovan? Yeah, he's on there. It's my first time watching it. Oh, oh, he's on um he's on um he's on Facebook. YouTube. He's on the YouTube. Oh, he's on he's YouTube. Back. He's on YouTube. His name is Powell. Powell. Oh, Donovan Powell? Yes. Okay, and he's your boyfriend? Yes. And I know he's right there with you. You love him? Yes. Is he giving you any trouble? Yes. He does, right? What kind of trouble him giving yes. you? Is he misbehaving? Yes, he's very much misbehaving. Oh, my God. Do it sounds to me he's like he... He's talking to Diva Frisky while I'm right here. He's what? He's talking to Diva Frisky while I'm right next to him. He's talking to Diva Frisky and in the. I said, hold on. Yes. Well, yes. Him, what? Um. So you see what he's doing on the on the uh, in the Facebook group with, with Diva Frisky. You see it, right? Yeah, I, I don't see it, but I hear him. You hear him? Oh. Um. Do you think they're flirting? You think that is flirting? What he's doing? Yeah. 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 So what do you think about that? Is that having an impact on you? Do do you ignore yeah. that? Is it nothing to you or is it something important? Yeah, it's nothing to me. It's nothing to you if he's flirting with Diva Frisky on Facebook? Yes. Oh. It, um, you want to know why it's nothing to me? Why, why, why? Because I'm a flirt myself. Because you're a flirter yourself. Yeah. Oh, okay. So because Diva Frisky just posts and say he's trying to like talk to her, man. You know. 
But I like how Diva Frisky said no. She's not going to give him her number. So she's not going to give him her number. Okay. But what if she had given him her number? Would you have a problem with that? Yes. Why? But you say you don't mind him flirting and things like that. So why if, if, would you have a problem if him get the number? And actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a problem. You wouldn't? Actually, wouldn't okay, problem. okay. Can I ask you something, Blunt? Do, would it matter to you if he got involved with a woman, like another woman, and got intimate with another woman? Yes, it would be a problem. That would be a problem? Yeah. Huh? Oh, okay. So that that would be taking it too far, right? Exactly. Okay. But what, what if he does that? Would you leave him and him explain to you and say, that, well, that meant nothing. I was just having fun with her. You are the one I'm with and so forth and things like that. No, nah, I'd leave his ass and never talk to him again. You you would? You would leave him and never talk yeah. to him again? Okay. So you do so you do have any problem with him flirting and asking for number from women, but you just cannot go out there and, and have sex, right? Yeah. Okay. But so you flirt too. So when the men them try to get with you and try to um whatever. I don't give them sex, I just flirt with them. Oh, you just flirt with them. Okay, all right, man. So I do innocent flirting. I'm African. I'm African, so I do innocent flirting. You're African, so you do innocent flirting? Because Africa is just such yes. a big place. It's a huge continent that is actually bigger than a lot of I'm places. I'm from Kigali, Rwanda. Oh, in, in where? Kigali, Rwanda. Kigali, Rwanda. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, okay, nice. <coughs> and, and you love Donovan? As Donovan as you, have you ever taken Donovan to Rwanda? I'm going to take him soon. Okay, you're gonna take him soon. Are you guys planning on getting? Huh? Are you guys planning on getting married or, or so on? Didn't you? No, he doesn't want to marry me. Oh, he didn't want to marry me. He, but that sounds like you. If he wanted to marry you, that you would marry him. But you're saying that he doesn't want to get married. Yeah, he said that I'm not ready for that. He says that you are not ready for it. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, okay. How old are you? 40. Oh, you're 40. Oh, no, you're ready to get married, I think. Donovan, the lady says she's ready to get married. How are you there, pan? Donovan. I know, I know, I know. She says she's ready to get married. What do you mean, I know, I know? She says she's ready to get married. Listen to me. How long you guys have been together? How long have you been with Donovan? Uh, up and on a couple of years now, about Two, three years. Oh, you and I are there about two, yeah. three years now. Oh, okay. So, now, yeah, go on. Yeah, man. It's yeah, go on. You know, go on. Good day. You, know, you know, I can't have that with busy. Canada. Me like, me like Diva. You like what? Me like Diva Frisky. You, you like Diva Frisky? Yeah, me like the name Frisky. You like, oh. I come and move you for what do you mean, Mobia? A Mobia, she live? She's going to go to Jamaica, find her, look for her. I, I ask her why her name is Frisky. Well, uh, that is what Donovan tell you, say, I want to go to Jamaica to Mobia and find Diva Frisky and then ask her why her name Frisky. Yeah. Our sister yeah. gave her the name Frisky. Yeah. So, oh, Donovan knows so much about her already. What is going on here? Huh? No, hold on, hold on. Donovan, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to ask your girlfriend. What, what is your name, darling? My name is Princess Diana. Your name is Princess Diana? Yeah. You know what I say? Oh, you mean that is your name on Facebook? Yeah, my name is Princess Diana. Oh, uh, but... Oh, if you don't want to tell me a real no, name, that's Facebook fine, you know. My Facebook name is Huh? My Facebook name is Mirembe. Oh, that sounds Mirembe beautiful. Is my Facebook. No, what is it? What is the Facebook name? No, I want to pronounce it. Tell me. Mirembe. Nurembe. 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 Mirembe. 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 Oh, yeah. that's beautiful. That that that's a sexy name. It means, it means peace. Huh? It means peace. It means thief. It means. Yeah. La, Jesus have mercy. What you say your name mean? You can call me peace if you can't say me Rembe. 
Hold on. What do you mean your name means thief? Because it's an African name, so it means peace. It's a Rwandan name, right? That's what you're saying, but... No, it's a Ugandan name. Ugandan. Uganda. Okay. Are you from Rwanda or Uganda? I was born in Uganda, but I'm Rwandese Tutsi. So my oh. background is a Tutsi. Your background Uganda, is a Tutsi, okay. I was born in Uganda. But born in Uganda. And your name is Miremi. Yeah. Prezi, don't block the, the wall. May I look on the wall? Please, Prezi, move, move that thing and let me see. Yeah. Uh, so, but how is it that you have a name that means thief? Because I'm a peaceful woman. I bring peace to the world. That's no, no, what you say, it means peace. Exactly. Oh, my God. I thought you said thief. I was like, what? Okay, peace. Oh, good. Uh, glad we cleared that. Right. Glad we cleared. <laughs> glad we cleared that up. I love that name, Mirembe. Mirembe. Okay. I love that name. See, the name's a deaf ears, Goliath, trouble, and thing, and true, and whatever. But Mirembe, you need to put Donovan and the manners now, you know. Okay. All right. Huh? You need to. Okay, I, 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 I kind of use a Jamaican phrase there, even though it was in English. So, so what do you think? If Donovan is misbehaving, you don't think you need to, you know, kind of, you know, let him know that he need to stop misbehaving like that. What, what, what do you think? Yeah, I've told him many times. He doesn't listen. Don't listen, okay, and whatever. He's stubborn. He's All, stubborn right. All right. Tell Donovan, as we say in Jamaica, that he must stop farm fool. Because you got a lot of guys out there who are always flirting with you and want you, don't you? I have like 20 in London alone. 20 guys. 20 guys in London. Well, I, yeah, you have 20 guys in London alone who want you, don't it? Yeah, man. That should meet up with all the time. So you know it go. What do you mean? What do you mean? So, so, wait. What do you mean? So she, what do you mean? Me alone. What do you mean meet up with? She, she, she meet up with them in physically or she just meet up always, with them online? Always, always, always the on Facebook with them. Oh, so you yeah, so make sure. I, I don't think them. I don't depend on Facebook. I don't depend on Facebook. You know what I mean? Well, and so you said she always depend on She always depend on Facebook with some man, 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 something done. Like yeah, man, I'll when me actually do it, you know. <laughs> it's, yeah, ping, ping, ping. All the thing, all, all well, the thing, Well, and when time, you so. guys are making love on a sat out and whatever, the man, they must send a message on Facebook, it's a ping, 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 ping. Yeah, that makes me more interested still, but you know it does. <laughs> well, well, at least then, yeah, make sure, say, you know, to, you know, to, like, you know, make your head get crazy, because, yeah, so boy, any card can play upon you your right hand. That's why me open, man. Me open, me open. What do you mean, me open? Good, me good. What do you mean, you open? What do you mean? I mean, well, me not make, it, me not make it get to me head, so. Okay, okay. You see what I say? But if she can get involved with a man, do it, you it, 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 it up your head, do no? Well? If she can get involved with a she man. Involved, she, have, she, she have her own place. Me not mind, you not answer a question. You know. No, me say, if she can get involved with it, a man. It, 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 he bother me, me not, she not going to make me know, she still come by, man, and gone again. No, but me say, if you know you're fine out, though, your head would have hurt you, though, no? No, sir, no for man there, no for man there. No for man there, no, and, and what's your want to frisky to, though? <laughs> me frisky that jummy, because that cost me enough money to come there, so. <laughs> so what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? You don't know what's a good juju, you have to travel for that, I want me to you. But she don't want to run your number. She tell me no. If you watch all the... No, nah, but she don't know what you say. Why she will run your number first? Why she will run your number and thing and whatever. She don't know what she will run up in her with you and thing. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. If you really like Donovan, then if you really like Diva Friskin and thing, and you're going to come out in the hope, Mr. Wanna Step to her. You expect her if you go say yes? Donovan, she just know about Diane. She doesn't know about Diane now. She never know how we could me a chat to her. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm glad. But so, would you consider yourself say you have game? Eh? Well, 
Would well, you consider then, yourself say you have game? Say you know for you know for juggling yeah. things. You say you have game? Yeah? Yeah man, yeah man. Okay. What do you mean? All right then, sir. Yeah, man. All right, me not think you could have married you could have managed Diva Frisky Sat out doing you know? me not think you could have managed. Oh God, that means Frisky just have me a yeah. Me say nah, you couldn't nah, manage our sat out, me not think you could have managed our sat out. She, you, what you mean? She's she, she small, man. Maybe, you know. So, you see, that statement there alone where you make, so I said, no, I'm a loser for you with that statement there, you know. Well, what well, me, me mean in that size? Me say, I'm a loser for you with that statement there because that statement there ignorant and clueless to the game. Because I fool, okay, I hear that you talk a while ago, you know. Listen to me, man. Okay, okay. You know how much man or the big thick man will work this and can't manage certain things. And you know, let me tell you something. Me, I tell you this. Listen to me right you now. <laughs> Some of the wickedest sat out, out there, whatever. The top where you can't manage, you mash up here. And some look a tiny, look a dainty woman who look like they can't mash hands. I've been there, man. I know that. Oh, so when you talk about she look a bit and you're big like that, that is definitive for say you can't manage her. They even want to mash up your head. <laughs> All right, let me ask no, you something. Me remember, me remember, me remember, me remember sat out, turn up. Who? Your, your girlfriend, I saw her turn up. <laughs> yeah, man, but she got she got she got Africa next month. <laughs> okay. Remember that? She busy, you know. She okay. all over the place, you know. Okay, but enough people she love it. Africa, enough people love Africa. them. Love to say the African them no like do the something them and thing. Actually, well, she no man, she 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 turn up, man. She do everything, no, man. She do everything. Okay, so. So, yeah, they, they say it's happy now, say you and I want to do everything, want to do the something they want to do, want to look at things, want to not start out, want to do everything. So, why are you not just contented with her then, since you and I do everything with one another? She's she, she, she in one place, man. She's come like a mother, you know. She, one minute she does. She says she wants to go Jamaica with you. She says she wants to go Jamaica with well, you. Well, you just tell me to go to Africa. I was joking, you're joking. She's joking. She wants joking. to go to Jamaica with you. Take her to Jamaica. I didn't want to go she, she, first time she tell me that year, Raga. So nah, what? So she want to go to Jamaica. She well, she tell you now. Raga, get it out there now. You must take her to Jamaica. Yeah, me go there, yes. Can we go there? My first time you go to stay on the resort. Because I'm not going to go to the country again. Because too much, much, too much people are here. All right. And yeah, I'm man, I, and, and listen to me. I'm going to out on the beach. But when I sat up on the beat, use one yeah, towel man, because me, me I have read. Hold on. Use one towel because I have read and I'm not the normal when sun go up in night. Yeah? So use one towel when I sat up on the beach. All right? Oh, God. You never did it before. That will be your first to me. All right, then. All right, Miriam. All right, hold on. Call her. Call me, remember. One thing before me leave. Call her for me. Call her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Yes, I just told him to take you to Jamaica and to make sure that you guys do it on the beach. And when you're doing it on the beach, make sure you do it on a towel because you don't want sand to interfere with the process, okay? All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, you guys take care. All right, good. All right, one love. One love. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Blessings. Uh, hello, caller. Hello, Wagwan. Yo, I left the man, Prezi. I left the man who called and beat me. He made a conversation. Supposed to drive him crazy. <laughs> you and him a chap up on the radio. This <laughs> is like Marcus Garvey, the Black Star Liner, back to Africa. That's how we're there. Um, hello, caller. Hello, good night. Hello. I see, I see the line, but I don't, I don't hear it open. I don't hear the line open. <laughs> Yo, Diva Frisky said, he can't manage at all, Raga. Why you say D Diva Frisky? What do you know about you? He don't know how to say a thing. Dangerous like that. Bad so. No. Mad so. No. I want to say, hey, I want to think. He can't come in when I look at Dalios be everything. No. That not work around here. He can't manage a thing, Diva. The Eva and the MC are the frisky get him going, the frisky part, you know. It's a frisky and, you know. Donovan and say, eh, I want to go on this. Stuff. All right. 
regarding, for those of you who don't know, and free up, most nights I'm free up, I have a drink, and most nights it's a, it's a cocktail. Um, which drink you recommend tomorrow, Prezi? Which drink me for work with? Like a mixed drink. Prezi, which drink you recommend me work with tomorrow? Like a mixed drink. Every, every, every Saturday night when I do free up, there's a drink when I work with them. I make it on, on screen, you know? On here. And it, I kind of like mixed drink. We have to, so which one you recommend? What? What? <laughs> Well, lad, where is it? Where is it? Long Island iced tea. No. No. No, it's got too much stuff in it, man. You said you liked it? Yeah, but no, no, that, that, that's too much mixed liquor thing. I, I, I don't really like that's it. And it turn you, Long Island iced tea turn you over. Yeah. Long Island iced tea is if you, you know, you, you really want to do something where you never did want to do before. You would just want you know, a mindset for doing it. That time you drink Long Island iced tea, like what Tina did do. You know Tina, right? When Tina never did want to do something. I eat you do and I eat makes you go. So which other drink, Prezi? Which other one? Which other one? You don't know how to mix drink cocktail way, I reckon. What? Uh, I don't know about what you did. What? <laughs> no, you don't know what me just said, but which other drink? Um, recommend a drink, no? Uh, All right, let me see if any. You know, I recommend a drink. Uh, I mean, you did margarita already, right? I did margarita, yeah. Bloody Mary. Yeah, Bloody Mary. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what, President? Forget about it. <laughs> Um, John, I did a margarita. You never watch it tonight. I do margarita already. I have no problem doing it again. I love margarita. Yo, people that bloody Mary something there. I don't know. Carmitha, sex on the beach. That might be it, you know. Sex on the beach. Um... I know this is purely psychological, but um, I was never attracted to that drink, you know, Bloody Mary, just by the name, you know. Just I know it sounds silly, but uh, it's one of them things there. I was just um, never really, you know, <laughs> you just thought, oh, you're drinking a Bloody Mary? I mean, I've gotten over it. It's just a drink, but, you know. All right, hello. Hello, there's a pop. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Who is this? My name is Raga Shanti. Okay. I know it is. Now I know it is. Now let me tell you what's going on. There's a problem with the connection. There's, there's a what? With the radio. There's a problem with, with the connection. You know what I mean? The radio's not coming on. Where? In Astoria. Queens. In Astoria, Queens? Yeah. I don't know what the problem is. You're not getting 93.5? Nope. Um, okay. Duly noted. Uh, Prezi, did you hear that? Prezi, did you hear that? Oh, she said she, she's in Astoria, Queens. Yeah. And she's not getting the yeah. radio. She's not getting 93.5, okay? Any connection, by it. All right, but just so you know, Go back in the young. No, there's some, there's there's some little airport issue with Queens and the radio stations. Just so you know, I don't know if it's the same thing, but there's some. I listen every single day, every Friday. Oh. I listen to you every week. Oh, are you not getting it tonight? Oh, I see what you're saying. You're just not getting no. it tonight, right? Yeah, I Right, 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 because I'm calling you. Oh, I see. Let you know. I was, no, I appreciate that then. That that just makes it clearer. So you were able to listen yeah. all the time, but you're just not hearing it right, tonight. Right, today with no connection. No, no connection. All right, I will let um, Bobby Clark know that. And you say you're in Astoria, Queens, correct? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, are you sure it's nothing to do with your radio or anything like that, right? I've, lived, I've been to every room in my house. Okay. <laughs> no connection. Okay. My apologies then if it's on I our side. You. I okay. love you. I love you. I love you. You are the best. Oh, thank you so much, darling. Much appreciated. All right? And be good. You keep it real. I love it. All right. Then. Blessings <laughs> and respect. Here. 
All right. Thank wait, wait, you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you Jamaican? Yes, I am. Okay, all right then, cool. But just want to make sure it's a thing. So you like your vibes. All right, big of up course. yourself, yeah? Sister, sister, all the way. All right, oh, see honey, Thank you. Yeah, man, protection <laughs> and blessings. Bye bye. Proper. Cool. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, so. Um, Pina colada cocktail. Now, that sounds good. I love pina colada. I love pina colada. Uh, pina colada or a sex on the beach is going to be one of those. We'll see how it goes tomorrow, all right? But um, um, the thing is that um, them tend to make pina colada with that rum there. Um, Malibu rum. Where I like Malibu and pineapple, you know. That's a light drink, because y'all know me love the light drink, them, you know. So I like Malibu and pineapple, and it's in the same pina colada vein, you know, pineapple. But when you want a light, when you want to feel a little, you know, you want to feel a little vibe and thing, it's not exactly the, the liquor where you want to work with, you know. So you don't really have that little strong thing there. You know? Don't you press it? The Malibu rum, not really, it's for light drinking. Anytime we just a chill with friends and whatever, me just do some boom, Malibu and pineapple, but, um, so if I go pina colada, I have to get like a, no, we can't make a pina colada with, um, with a, with a strong Appleton rum, yeah? Where is a pressy? Make a pina colada with like a Appleton rum. I mean, I have to blend it either. You see how that goes. Hey, we're going to hold a break. We're soon forward. Yo, 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 this is Shaggy. Yeah. Out of many one music, baby. You're listening to Ira Jam Radio. Yeah, number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the feeling is good, I want to hear you say, Ira. Raga Shanti Live. Raga Shanti Live. Raga Shanti Live. Back in the juggling, back in the juggling. Big up on the big up on the cell phone thing. Right away, we'll go back to the phone line and thing. Send on, Prezi. Hello? 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 Greetings, yeah. Hello? Yes, hello? Greetings, brother. Yeah. Yeah, I just heard a call. I listen to you on, uh, on my phone. Yeah. I can't get you. I'm in Queens also. Rosedale to be exact. I'm not, not hearing anything on the radio. You serious? Yeah, man. I'm phoning my wife. The way that I listen to you, Raga. Mm-mm. You know, I pay a friend. I can't turn it. I pay a friend like you. I pay a chicken. I'm not no chicken. I'm not a chicken. <laughs> Prezi, I, I, I want to be not here the radio before, don't Yeah, man. I'm not listening to you all the way, Raga. Mm. I wonder why I wanna hear I wonder why I wanna hear me tonight. Yeah. Eh? I wonder why Prezi, any explanation there? See the people I'm from Queens are saying I'm not here the station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, you, 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 you're in my yeah, near, you're in my neighborhood where you're in. Yeah? Yeah, man. I don't know. Right I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Valley Stream, Right Cross, yeah, Rose, Deer, Laurel, Town, Springfield Gardens. You know yeah, how I place that. But, yeah, but this thing has been going on for a while, you know, because like my group drive go Long Island up at West Hempstead and analysis in a car. In some time it's about also for quite a few weeks now. All right, then I'm going to make management know about it, yeah? Yeah, you man coming on your PA dues, man, so. All right. Up and yeah, up man. And you know? Big up yourself, you and your yeah. wife, yeah? Respect, respect. Enough, enough, enough respect. Yeah, man, protection. Cool. Well, that would be interesting. That's interesting if the people them not here and thing or whatever, then, you know, them need to um, deal with that. But people... My, um, okay. No, Sex on the Beach is a good drink, you know. Sex on the Beach is nice. Um, oh, yeah, but I will let management know about that. I will definitely let management know about that because, um, that kind of explains certain things then in terms of, um, 
you know, wagwan. In okay, let me just um, somebody asked me a question and I don't really remember it. So yeah, um, sex on the beach is a good thing, but the the person you write, um, cranberry juice is in it too. So it's cranberry, orange, vodka, and peach snaps, right? I know a lot of you like vodka. I'm not really a vodka person, but me work with it tomorrow if I that me I mean. So it's down to sex on the beach or um I don't know. Sex on the beach. Somebody just um sent me the recipe for a Mai Tai. That's good in a Prezi. Have you Prezi ever had a Mai Tai? That's a pretty good drink. That's a nice drink. Um, my type of drink too. My type of drink. My type of drink. Let me see where a long time listener is. She's saying, you know. Here's a drink for you. One shot of white rum. One shot of magnum. And some fruit juice. I use orange pine. No, sir, this sound dangerous right just you now. Me not think me can manage that one here, you know. Miss Lady, I think you're in Canada. If um no, I'm mean, not me can manage that one, yeah, you know. You can mix Jamaican white rum with Magnum. And where is that man then when you're done with that man then your island go my island go ride me and thing. And then I don't have nothing for releasing you know, and them something that thing. And then when my island start ride me in the night then thing, I'll make a manage and all them something. Me not think me can manage that one. What that is a drink? White rum with Magnum? That is a drink? Me never white rum with Prezi say yeah. For real, Prezi? White rum with Magnum. Now, why would anybody want to mix them two? It, does it have a name, Prezi? Eh? What, what's the name? You know the name? You don't know the name? Um, no, no, she did not provide a name. She used orange pineapple juice with it. So she said one shot of Magnum and white rum. So equal parts, white rum and Magnum equal parts. And then she used orange pineapple juice. The orange pineapple juice, you know, bone for eat a nice look at taste. It depends on how much it is. Give me the call, Prezi. But no, I don't think so. I'm going to mix the magnum with the white rum, you know. Yeah? I when, me, when my eyes start, when my eyes start riding me and all them something and whatever this and that, I'm going to release. You understand? Me alone in my crib and whatever this and I'm going to mad. I'm going to mad. You understand? See, Janice Gordon said, A young people drink that raga. Don't do it. <laughs> what you say, Janice? A young people drink that. No, I can't manage them. Some of them, I allow me to leave them. I come eat. I say, Sounds like a knockout. Yeah. White you with Magnum. You know what people love drink Magnum? Because them say Magnum make them honey, right? You know what's a white drum is no joke. Jamaican white drum is no joke, right? And you can mix white rum with Magnum. No, sir. Joan could say cold shower. That no help me when me charge up. Cold shower no help me. A foreign something that. Let me come here, come here, them white man attack talk about uh, them have the cold shower. When I in a stick, them and thing, them have to take a cold shower. Me sure most Jamaican man to buy into that something there because. I don't know. Uh, uh, Kevin, I don't pay you no mind right there, so it where you put, where you put right this sad thing. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. Give me the call, Prezi. Give me the call. <laughs> Greetings. Hello. Raga. Greetings, yeah. That, that call, the brother call about the radio, um, I messed up from, that I go on from Fata Diamond and I, I, I wrote for, um, for, for, um, for DJ right earlier this evening now. Oh, okay. Probably has something to do with the weather then, don't it? Yeah. Because in a jersey, from Fata Diamond was on in a jersey that go on from, from that time. It's not just you. It, it happened. Okay. Thank you for that. Here. Thank you for that. Here. Thank you for that. I see what I go. All right. Probably yeah. at the yeah. ice town. Yeah, a jersey we are called from still. Yeah? A jersey. I wish we had a jersey I called from. Patterson. Inglewood. Inglewood, man. Inglewood. Oh. Uh, is this what I think yeah. it is? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I don't say another word. I think. Big up that lady there for me, uh, yeah? And tell her to behave herself and yes, don't. Sir, tell her to behave herself and don't. Let me come over there, come put her across my knee and spank her, all right? 
for real, for real, yeah, man. Uh, but, 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 um, yeah, like me, I should have said that going from earlier, so not just you. you yeah, know? man, yeah, man, respect for that, man. We appreciate that clarification there, yeah? All right, yeah, okay. yeah. All right, next call, Prissy. Hello. Got the person that look like them guy. Next, next call, Prissy. Hello. Hello. Yes, brother. Greetings, yeah? Hello. Yes. Yeah, um, I called earlier. I'm calling back again. I'm calling from um, Teaneck, New Jersey. Uh-huh. When the show just started, there was a bad connection. And then I fixed the antenna, and then it, it, I could hear it clearer after that. But I think it's the weather, though. Yes. But yes. now it's, everything is clear, though. I can hear it real good now. Okay, so things have improved for you. Uh, well, you know, I just want to remind people that we have a terrible, terrible ice storm that is actually in progress right now. Really, really bad. And yeah. ice and um, um, radio transmission, they're fairly, them don't get along. You know, them always are war. Yes. <laughs> so I but struck, may you load and clear still. I, may you load and clear. I, I, I you over there in a T-neck, no? Same, yeah. All right. Me used to look at Champuka. You know, so me used to live at Garfield. For a while. People before you know, is that town name so? So I'm not to run, come, come start. I'll kind of, come, kind of, kind of, I beat me now and I say this and that. Garfield is a town in Jersey. Okay. Because you know them terrible, don't you, oh. Carla? You know them terrible. Go say, oh, you didn't live in a Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> No, I be I be that my brother them keep up you know. I said, you know, I just where yeah. I say they live up in a Garfield, no. I must say go in a man. I be in the mom's house to them keep up, you know. I said we have to clarify them yeah. thing there all the while, you know. But anyway, big up yourself for what you know yeah, you know, just yeah. keep on doing what you're doing. You hear don't yeah. let nobody try to give me light. Yeah. See, because you bring a lot of entertainment and laughter to us every week. Nice. I mean, look forward to your show every week. So just nice. keep on coming and bringing us there. All right? Blessings, man. Thank you. No, but you see that thing they do a long time, a long time. Them, them, them just have a problem with my PhD and them old school. Them just have this thing I say, if you have a PhD, you have a doctorate, you're supposed to have focus on academia all the while. So, at that, I give them a idea. No. If, if I never have the PhD no, and I do my show, you know, they wouldn't have a problem with me. You know? But one of the things one of the thing we admire for is that you're versatile, you're intellectual, and you can come down and just deal with the people that are away and we all can have a good time, you know, listening to the call of them calling and share the story. It's right. a good thing. We have to have um all that stuff as a part of life. So you right, know right. just one of them things. But uh, no no, you hear the term where you use yeah? it's a versatile, right? And these these yeah. other people they don't appreciate versatility. They want you to be one dimensional when it comes to certain things, particularly being bright. You know, you must be bright all the yeah. time. And if you're on the platform, you read your read, you must only use for bright. And from there, Jamaica, may I get it? You know, from there, Jamaica, they might be whatever thing. It's, anybody who listen to me a long time can tell you. They might always come at me with, oh, you have a PhD, and you're going to talk about mix up and all them. Some the, no, I'm just ignore it. Par for the course. I'm well, not well, them no more. Well, well, me, well, me tell my. We tell certain people must listen to your show, and when we tell them to listen, we say he's intellectually savvy, and he can come down and do a, do another thing, and just you know, just make everybody laugh. So you know, you're blessed to be who you are. So All just right. keep on doing what you're doing. Right. One last thing here. Um, twice yes. you said, you know, him intellectually so and so, and he can come down. All right. Yeah. I going to suggest yeah. that you say yeah, no, and him can expand or come cross to other people, you know, and thing because you yeah. see that come down thing that them condition if you say if you have degree and whatever you are above people they are top and listen to me man, no for the problems that we are having in this world are from so called bright people with degrees, you know, right? Mm -hmm. You have a whole heap of people but, out but there with been... degrees and them them are idiot. Some of the smartest people that me meet in this world them not have no degree. You understand? So, well, so them, say, them say laughter is good for the soul, you know, so we have to have a lot of that. You know, these Thank times you. we need it. Thank so you. people like you, yeah. you know, it's a blessing to have, you know. See, so yeah, we give I'm proud of who you are, and I'm proud that we have people like you who can bring it 
Yeah. Okay, all right, cool. I know the man want to look at you. Uh, no, I forget the name of the airport, but uh, they have an airport out, out Yeah, man, out no, you know, yeah. enough rich people flying at that airport there, you know. Enough rich people flying at that airport. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. All right, big up yourself. Yeah, man, yeah. so, you know, we're not going to hold up no more every time, but, you know, man. one love. So. All right, then, protection. <laughs> one thing, bless you. All right, bye. All right, bye. Eh, people, anybody who listen to me and tell me, can't tell a long time them people that call and thing, and them just have a problem with my PhD. Is If me never have the PhD and I do what me I do, I would have no problem. Would that, them would have just ignore me. Because there are millions and millions and millions and billions of you know, different genres of content where them not paying a mind and them you know, bother them. People are doing wally for something where them just go about them business. And there are a lot of people out there who don't, you know, them not, my thing I know what them interested in, but them just do them thing and them not busy with me. But you just have that set of people. Eh, um, my PhD and my education always bother them. Prezi, give me a quick call. See, there the show I done and the people in my co- call in, whatever. Hold that go, Prezi. Anybody there? there? Prezi. Hello. Yes. Greetings. Yes. Yes. Yes, right, huh? Yeah. Yes, Roger. Yeah. Yeah, ta- yes. no, ta- no time ago, yeah. Yes, Roger. You remember when you remember when we just sing that song Boom Bye Bye? Yeah. I, I wonder if I stop him, I try to stop you before you go in a certain topic. Oh, the man? Yeah. Yes, I, w- No, 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 no. Me na, um no, I am very adept and skilled at navigating that. I know the politics associated with it and thing or whatever. So, um, no, 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 no. He wasn't trying to protect me with anything. He was, he was, um, he was reprimanding me in one breath, dismissing me yes. in another, and basically projecting himself as being, you know, superior in in certain things yeah. in terms of um, the way he conduct himself and what he knows and what he wants to share and what he's working towards. That that was his object. Yeah, man, your show rating is very high, man. And uh, we don't need these type of people. <laughs> you don't need them for coming with them negativity, don't you? <laughs> no, 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 no. No parish. No parish. No right, parish. Right. Your show, rating is, your show rating is very high. I appreciate it. He doesn't understand what is happening here. You know. He's, you know, he doesn't understand mm-hmm. what I do here. But it's all good, you know? And I appreciate your support here. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. Yes, man. I listen to you every week. All right. Blessings, my blessing, my brother. Blessings, man. All right. Cool. All right, people. Do remember tomorrow is a thing named Free Up, the realest Jamaican talk show on the Ragashanti TV channel on YouTube. Free Up, the realest Jamaican talk show. Make sure so to come just have some fun with that. And make sure that you subscribe to Ragashanti TV on YouTube and also just click the little bell over there for the notifications. Also, subscribe to my educational entertainment channel. It's called Tam Farm TV. That's Tam Farm TV. Again, Tam Farm TV on YouTube. Again, click the subscription button over there. And also click the bell for the notifications. I want to thank you for your support. I want to big up everybody who understands what I do. And you've always been supportive of what I do. Thank you so much. Much, much appreciated indeed. Just want to also remind you that, um, you know, the naysayers are part of the process. Remember, the only reason they, I'm going to hear this all the while from it, don't you? The only reason they have a name is because night exists. The only reason night have a name is because day exists. Love defines hate. Hate defines love. That's just how the world runs. That's why sometimes when you have somebody and you not appreciate them, you know, enough, and then when you go to a road and you hear, oh, other man a treat, other woman, or other woman a treat, other man, and you're like, Jesus, God, man, I thank God for me look a piece of woman, I feel look a piece of man, yeah, because at least so and so. Relativity. One thing makes you appreciate the other thing, and in this case, it would be your thing. All right? So such is life. In other words, you know, Negativity has a purpose because 
when you know what negativity is, you can better appreciate positivity and such is life, all right? So we can use them for your betterment. When time the poison come, you can just use it as a tool. I know, so at these times, I appreciate people who understand me. Such as the case, such is the case with many of you. Y'all take care of yourselves right now. I'll be back here on um, you know, the Bridge 99 FM on Monday at 9 o'clock as usual. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And of course an Irish Jam next week, Friday at 9 o'clock. Also. And then tomorrow it's all about free up by Ragashanti TV. Take care of yourselves, people. Be safe. Protection. <laughs>